Hey, peace, peace. What's up, y'all? My bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm dipping through traffic, right? And I see, uh, remember I told y'all they tried to jump me the other day. Them Hebrews. So I don't know. I'm just dipping through traffic. And, uh, and Shinetta, you know, they over there talking about who fucked the baby, who fucking on young baby. <laughs> You know, they over there on that type of time, right? So, you know, I'm about to dip. And I hear somebody called Mighty Hebrew name. So, uh, Mighty Hebrew, what's happening? Yeah, I, I get I get I get it cracking off the top. Mighty Hebrew, what's happening? Nigga, pull up, I'm live. Yeah, you got my name in your mouth. Now let's see if he gonna pull up. I doubt it. I doubt it, but I just went over there in front of everybody, and everybody know. <laughs> yeah, let's see, if, let's see if Cuz go pull up and come run his fade. Can everybody over there just heard what happened? <laughs> they put it on the big screen and everything. Hold on, you know what? Matter of fact, let me let me let me click on the. Yeah, they put it on the big screen and everything. Oh, he down there laughing. He's still in the chat. Hold on. Why are these people so scary? Man, they scary. Hold up. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And Everybody like, know that. The whole why is he world saying world. that? You know, you know why I said that? You know who I got that from? And see, the nigga don't want to admit it. I got that from Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Mm. I got that from Minister Farrakhan. I got that from all of these leaders that we had. You know how they get up here and say, yo, we ain't nothing. We ain't yeah. shit. We can oh, get back to see where we at. But them niggas over there, all them niggas are pieces of shit, bro. And these niggas over here like, like this shit is like... And keep going back and forth with a nigga that... See, hold up, stop, stop, stop. And then we're going to be yelling at the top of our goddamn throats, nigga. You sadly mistaken. Who's he I'm talking about? Man, he I don't know if he's saying I had a chance to deal with Ben. No, I don't want to deal with Ben. I'm not giving that nigga the, that shit. Shalom, mighty yeah, Hebrew. Hey, mighty Hebrew, peace, brother. See? What I said, right mighty Hebrew, right I'm glad you're here. I was on I my said, way out the door. And they said something about mighty Hebrew, and I said, oh, what's up? Look, this nigga talking about a set of times so he could do a PowerPoint. Yeah, uh, so so look, y'all check it out. I might have I to was go wrong over there. when I said the mighty Hebrew. I might have to hit the link and go and over I came on my channel and I admitted it. it is, I was I'm wrong, you, bro. I can't get him so from the head what the fuck now? Nothing. I'm a grown ass man, and Don't I was wrong about the mighty me. Hebrew, just like damn near everybody else when it first you came out. You typed in the chat, you know, family. He I was typed in the wrong. chat for me to set up a time. Uh, 24 said, Shook already cleared that situation up. Nah, bro, you see, hold up, stop, stop. Stop right there. You see how they do with niggas that they like. Yeah, we're not what doing about that. the mighty Hebrew? Did the mighty Hebrew clear his shit up? Yes, he did. See, the Who's going to come out and say, baby, yeah, you right. Shit. I did get her when I, when she was that age. No. Of course. Her, he was it was two of them. Yeah, it was two of them. Of course he's going to try to clear it up, nigga. But everybody else is wrong when they try to clear their shit up. But she could come out and clear his shit up. Yeah, 24. I don't know, bro. You talk about so I met her, bro. Wait, Shook didn't clear, bro. No, bro. Shook ain't even gonna uh, uh, goddamn address. I'm gonna hit the shit. link over there. Shout out to Top Cats. Uh, our peace, mighty, mighty Hebrew pull up. We say, uh, shout out to the legendary Top Cats. He said, peace to the mighty Hebrew pull up on I show. I'm live. I heard you got my name in your <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Top Cat, man. Top Cat going in on the Hebrews, Judah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I, I, in, uh, <laughs> I think I talked to that brother one time on Lex's channel, probably one time, I think. But uh, uh, shout out to uh, Top Cat. See, see you know what? See, Top Cat don't give a fuck about none of this crazy shit. He just deals with the information. My he been said I was 17, she was 15. They were fucking on 15 years. Yeah, nigga. Top Cat, you still ass smoking ass that Reggie, my nigga. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you, brother. Shout out to the brother Top Cat. Shout out to Chris MVP Harris. Hey, man, you have some uh, good shows, man. Uh, saw that, man. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Mighty Yo, the mighty Hebrew, the mighty Hebrew said that in the 17th. Yeah, that's screen. what he said. But I, I twisted it. I made a mistake. It's not that I lied on him. I made a mistake and said 19, but I was hey, wrong. Yeah, look, he said, when you wrong, you come and see say it. it like a man. Yo, not I was right wrong. now. I have some you know, other things to do. Listen, I, I fell for uh, fucking uh, uh, suckers uh, bullshit too. This nigga want to be a star. I, I apologize to Mighty Hebrew. The way he came on here like, oh, Mighty Hebrew, this, that, the other. And blah, 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 blah. I'm like, God damn. This nigga got there. But when Mighty Hebrew came on, he's like, man, this nigga got dropped. 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 This when you 15, man, that nigga fucking on a freshman in high school. That nigga fucking on a freshman and a sophomore in high school. So you the grown nigga that waiting outside the school with the car, picking up the little females, taking them to the 99 cent McDonald's meal. Oh, okay. That's who you is. See, yesterday, Believer of y'all, DC told me, hey, look out, my homie want to run the fade with you. Who is your homie? Uh, mighty Hebrew. Well, tell the nigga what's up. So just so happened, you know, I'm dipping through traffic. Look who I see. Look who I see. Not this dude that got my name in his mouth. So, yeah, nigga, I won't run my fade. Nigga talking about he busy for the day. Set up a time. Nigga, you's a hoe. And you fucking on 15. Look at him. Y'all see it right there? She was 15 years old. Or oh, just turned 15 type of shit. Just turned 15. You nigga nasty. Yeah, you nigga. Hide the kids. Hide them. Yeah, hide the kids. Just like a Bible thumper. And that with that Bible that had you doing. That Bible that had you out here uh, feeling like you got the right to fuck a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't giving out uh, notifications right now, man. Um, uh, so we got to hit the like button. We got to share, share the video out. Everybody see Mighty Hebrew got up there talking about he fucked the 15-year-old, right? Mighty Hebrew, y'all see that's his name. She was 15. Tell me he was 17. You're lying. You weren't 17. You was a grown man. You was out of school. You graduated. What is you doing fucking on kids that just got out of junior high school? Yeah, what you doing fucking on them babies that just got out of junior high school? Just got in a uh 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 a training bro. This nigga fucking on babies in training bro. Now polite. Oh, Hebrew polite ass nigga. Yeah, nigga, you the you the Hebrew polite. Scary ass niggas. Boy, I ain't from boy, all these niggas is scary. You better stay over there. Yeah, nigga, I come get you in the in, in the Hebrews chat. You ain't safe. I got something to do today. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you better hurry up and get to going to do it, then, nigga, and get out of my block. I got something to do today. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, it ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. Nigga, I ran this shit. And let me tell you, all you other new niggas in my comment section. Telling me what I need to do. Uh, I want to first off say, nigga, fuck you. All right? Fuck you, nigga. I take all the fades around here. Nigga, you think anybody finna tell me anything? And I know you niggas don't know how to fight. Nigga, I take all the fades around this hoe. Nigga, don't look at me. Don't say nothing to me. I don't need you niggas' advice. I don't need nothing from you niggas. Yeah, all these new niggas pulling up talking about what I need to do and what I need to stop doing. Nigga, I take the fades around this hoe. Can't nobody tell me a motherfucking thing until you nigga learn how to fight. Nigga, uh, stay out my way. Let me do what I do. Y'all take that shit across the track or wherever the hell y'all coming from. Nigga, I take the fades. Nigga, I make the rules. That's how it go. If, if you can't whoop me, Shut your bitch ass up. 
Cause I don't think you can whoop me. And I'll beat your master teacher up. So nigga, uh nigga, go tell that to your master teachers or these niggas y'all love and watch faithfully. Uh yeah, nigga, go tell them that. Yeah, go tell your scary ass master teachers or your no squabble having master teachers that that old uh shit you coming over here trying to tell me because I don't want to hear it, nigga. I finna go get on the battlefield. You hear me, nigga? I'm finna go get some blood on my hand. Nigga, don't talk to me. Nigga, I make it safe for you niggas to come outside. I make it safe for your master teacher to run around here and talk whatever shit they talking. Nigga, yeah. Nigga, they'll be bunkered down if I wasn't around this hoe, nigga. And the enemy, yeah, the enemy had these nigga bunkered down around this hoe, nigga. So, nigga, nigga, if it ain't a thank you, uh, yeah, nigga, I don't want to hear it. Nigga, fuck you. I had to run a nigga up out of here early with, on some kumbaya shit. Nigga, I will block your ass immediately. I'm here to fight. I'm a wartime chief. That's all I want to do. Fuck all that friendly shit, nigga. We ain't get here by no friendly shit. Niggas tried to kill us and y'all want us to be friends. Fuck that shit. Nigga, until your master teacher learn how to fight, don't tell me a motherfucking thing, nigga. Because I make it possible for them niggas to come out here and kick whatever bullshit they talking about. All right, nigga. So you motherfuckers better remember that next time you feel like coming to tell me any motherfucking thing, nigga. Bow down and kiss the pinky ring, punk ass nigga. Soft ass niggas. I don't know what these teachers making you niggas. All this kumbaya shit. No, you niggas ain't been in battle. Uh, nigga, all we do is fight over here. Fuck is wrong with you? Mighty Hebrew can fuck a 15 year old, but he don't want to come fight me. Punk ass nigga. Yo, son, son, yo, son, nigga, shut your weak ass up. That 15 nigga out here fucking on women and daughters in training bras. Yeah, that nigga want the training bras. Want to train them up like in the Bible. Uh, 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 what GMS said? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When when Christ come back, we can get them young. <laughs> what GMS said, when, when Christ come back, we can get them young. Once they start their period, once they start their period, we can go to fucking. Let's keep it real. Everybody know these Hebrew niggas out there bad. Everybody know these Hebrew niggas is pimping women through religion. Yeah, the most insecure niggas out here is a Hebrew. Pimping through religion. Nigga, uh, Bishop Eddie Long was fucking on boys and niggas' wives in the church. Running raw dick in them. Put AIDS in a nigga booty. This nigga got AIDS in a nigga booty. T.D. Jake's son just got caught in the motherfucking me uh, 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 prostitute sting looking for dick. I don't trust you Bible thumpers. I don't. Uh, I don't trust you Bible thumpers. Mighty Hebrew fucking on 15 year old little girls and shit. And, and, and gonna come out here in front of the people and admit it. Nigga, fuck you. Fake ass convert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga out here using religion to pimp on these women. And even the young babies, as we see, right here telling that little baby she's the chosen children of Israel. Y'all nigga wrong in the sun, bitch. Nigga, go at others. That's how you know go at fate. Y'all ain't strike them down. FOP said not FOPE. What that stand for? Well, FOPE, we need y'all to come out, come out on these, these camps who out here using these women, controlling them through religion, telling them, bitch, God watching you. Yeah, yeah, them niggas got the women thinking, uh, uh, God in the sky sitting up high watching they ass. Uh, fuck on, yeah. Bitch, you better not go out there fucking that nigga. Bitch, who you texting? You going to the club with them? Yeah, yeah, these niggas controlling these women through religion. 
weak ass nigga. These niggas who ain't never had no women in their life. Look at all of them. Pop belly ass, out of shape ass niggas. Black European featured ass niggas. No, these niggas ain't had no hoes. And that's why they taking fat hoes and everything. Now, these niggas got three, four fat hoes practicing polygamy. All they do is eat at. Yeah, all they do is eat at. Hold on. Some uh, E Rock in the building. Somebody said shout out to E Rock. Who was this? Is it? My bad. I seen somebody say shy E Rock, uh, Fifth Ward Boy. If it is shy to the OG, man, shy to the big homie E Rock. Fifth Ward, Texas, man. My mama used to say, Take your time, young man. My OGs used to say, Don't you rush the game, boy. My partners used to say, Live your life. Yeah, nigga, that's my shit. Oh, get away, nigga, steady ball in it. But I'm still taking other shots. I can't get the spot hot. He get the streets of turning on. Got a nigga driving on the wrong street. Mama keep telling me to take my time, use my mind, never use the same line, trust him. Do the shit with ease. Hit him with the pistol if you need. See the game don't speed. OG told me never rush the game. You tooth the can you lose your game and start selling all your things. I'm in the streets, man. Loud folks, man. Best believe I live my life to the fullest. Fuck you, loud in your last bullet shit. Trying to make my cat last. Always have a stash just enough to keep you jackets off my ass. Cause slow down. That's the way the game goes. You better get in before the door close. Partner. Yeah, nigga. That's that shit I came up on. That's why I slapped the shit out to these weak ass niggas around here, man. That's why I slapped shit out to these weak ass niggas around here. Mighty Hebrew talking about he fucked in 15 years. Oh, Sinetta tried to turn it up in there. <laughs> Sinetta say Top Cat been going off on y'all, man. But Judah, Judah fuck with me though, man. It's some Hebrews fuck with me. You know, but Mighty Hebrew got to run my fade. Shout out, man. They go to OG right there. He said, we got to link up, bro. Real talk, man, for sure. Anytime, man. Anything for you, big homie. Yeah, yeah. I got born and raised off this shit. Born and raised off of that, man. He said, oh, rap spells. I don't know, shit. You tell me. I thought it was poetry. Thought it was poetry. Well, if this new shit, nigga, if you rapping about popping mileage, and being the demon and all that, that ain't that ain't what we came up on. <laughs> yeah, that's that new shit. See who can goddamn me pop the most pills and not fall asleep. Yeah, these niggas sticking syringes in their arms. See who can who can eat the most perks, nigga, and not know it off. That's the type of shit. Now, nigga, that might be some uh yeah, that might be some rap spell shit for you right there. Inspired songs, uh, hollering at E Rock. He said this crease uh, LT cuz over from Marlin. Yeah, T for these niggas trying to see who can eat the most perks and not and not know it all. FOP, pull up. He said, When you coming on 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 my show? Pull up and come holler at me. I don't know who you is. Come holler at me, fam. Hold on, I'm drop the link down there. Just pull up on me, come holler at me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know you. F O P E. I don't know. Y'all know all of the gangs now. You know, they got acronyms and shit now. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what all that means. I'm going to drop the link for you, though. Daily Spread Podcast says spells ain't bad. We can speak what we want it to exist in and betterment of. Yeah, affirmations. Okay, okay. Daily spread podcast. What you like a sports show or something, family? Cause y'all know the night is going down. Angel Reese versus Iowa. Uh Juju UC uh USC. Yeah, it's going down, man. I'm watching the women. Shout out to my cousin Cooter Brown, man, out there at Huntsville unit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they talking about. They ready to watch the game tonight, man. Uh hey, FOP, uh, pull up. 
Chief and Chief in the building. Turn up one time. What's up with you, my brother? How you living, dog? Oh, man, I'm slow motion. You know, every day above ground is a good day. It's a good day, nigga. And slow motion better than no motion. You feel me? In I just got, got one thing to say, bro, and I'm about to hop on. Turn up. Don't let this shit go over your head. Remember a few episodes ago, I said, man, y'all got to stop cutting his wisdom because when he get to going, so much shit going to come out that's going to connect the dots. And I put this in the chat. I've never seen a nigga, bro. And this is respect to you. I've never seen a nigga rattle off every Indian war from the beginning of them to the end of them. Yesterday when you was on that show, bro, you started off at the first war. You was on your way to the end, but somebody deterred you and cut you oh, off. Oh, right, right. Jumped in there. Yeah, when I got down Man. to 1791, right, jumped out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, bro, this nigga is naming every war battle who was in it and every treaty that had something to do with it. Man, listen, I, I'm giving you your flowers, bro. I ain't never seen no shit like that. One of the greatest historians, if not the greatest greatest to ever do this shit. When it comes down to rattling this shit off, off the top of the dome, and even studying, because you got to take into account the preparation that goes into this for it to even be like that. You well over 10,000 hours of mastery, bro. So keep stepping on these niggas' neck, even when they try to keep you from talking or getting into a yelling match, because... Your shit is backed up by sources, my nigga. So keep banging out, man. Do your thing. You know we riding with you. Arrows on fire and everything, my nigga. So, yeah, go ahead. Get right, man. I'm about to hop off this bitch. If you still going on with a nigga, get out of here. I'm going to tap in. All right. That's a bit. That's a bit. All right. Say less. All right. Yeah, I got to go pick up my... Uh, um. Man, I'm getting me... A, I got me a chair made. So I got to go pick up my little, my little uh, chair. It's a goddamn throne. The king throne. Uh... Peace to you, uh, brother, uh, FOP, this FOP. Peace, bro. This brother Kwanoff, man. You know, man. You, I've been on your show. I think you came on my side one time, long, a while, way back. Me and Neftali, yeah, man. Right. You know who I am, brother. I know you. Okay. Uh, I know Neftali. Yeah, most time. Turn up. Yeah. Yeah, peace and blessing to you, man. Um, Like, what's going on with you and uh, uh, Mighty Hebrew, man? That'd be something like that'd be a good debate. I was on a... Neff show when she was going back and forth with that with that yeah, uh uh wanna be in the park. Ain't never won a debate in his his career. We never seen him win. Hey bro, that, uh, I, I, hey look, I, I I had I have no side in it, but I think that'd be a good debate. Huh? Real talk, that'd well, be a good you, one right there, man. If y'all if y'all could just settle that, settle on the subject and shit. What would be the subject? I mean, I I, I doubt it. If he could do anything, listen. I, That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I say if there's no Hebrew out there that can beat me. I just say that I never lose to a Hebrew. Period. Because what Hebrews don't know, like the Passover coming over, they don't even know what Passover really is. They think it's them leaving out of bondage in Egypt. It ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm gonna bring all that shit back to America. There's no Hebrew out there that can do nothing with me. So I never trying to set up Tazariak. It called Tazariak two days ago. These niggas not finna fight me. Mighty Hebrew want, want some clout. He want me to put his name in my title. He just told me that. I would just say Judah Nazareth highs. You know, they over there. So that's why I just seen him. I'm like, what's up? Uh, Mighty Hebrew, you got my name in your mouth. He told me he got something to do today. That's bitch shit to me. I'm just gonna I like, I like, I like to see the A, hey, bro. I, I would like to see that debate, man. I, I'm gonna call him up. I'm gonna talk to him, man. Maybe we can settle to, something. See how y'all right get this that shit right right this this is my thing right here. It had to be worth my time, right? It had to it had to be worth my time. If he can, I don't even think he have a following. I don't, do he even have his own channel? Do we have anybody who's gonna show up to watch him? Cause I'm gonna have like 150, 200 people. Oh, he, got, he got it. He got it. No, he got a yeah, huge I'm following. Like everybody 20. know you know him. Everybody know who he. Is. I like. I, said, I had no dog in the fight, but I got. I mean, far as scholarship wise and all that, he got a following. You know. Just like you got for he got for he been man he been around for years, bro. You know that's why that's why everybody like to see that see that debate. I'm familiar with him. I seen him get beat up by Seti. I seen him get beat up by Polite. I didn't see him get beat up by a few people. I never seen him win. And like right now, mm -hmm. ain't nobody in the game. There's ain't nobody in the game that's fucking with me right now. And I don't know if the nigga can sell a hundred tickets. I don't know if he can sell fifty. I'm coming with 150, <laughs> 200 people gonna sell tickets at thirty dollars a piece. Hey, I mean, hey, man, uh, we got out of the ring. Got to do something for me. Hey, we got uh, on FOP, man. We got this many. 
Hey, did you tell Sinetta that you wanted to debate me? He said he got a Hebrew called him and said they want to debate me. He didn't say mighty. Did Hebrew, I tell though. Sinetta what? It who is the other? You Hebrew? said what did I tell Sinetta? Yeah. Sinetta oh, came I mean, I mean, no, the other F for PE. Well, he didn't say F for PE. Huh? He didn't say that. He said somebody else's name. He no, because everybody run from us, brother. I don't know who he, all his little so-called champs run from FOB. Neftali is our uh, is our champ, but we got other brothers and sisters over here just just so as Neftali strong, you know. So I mean, you said you said Neftali, we together, sister, yeah. New school Neftali. of thought, FOB. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I like Neftali. Neftali. You know, I know she the one talking about you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she the one talking about you. You know, so well, she cool with. I'm cool with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. See if you said you was gonna call my Hebrew. See if you can get him over here. Maybe we can talk about it. Maybe if he if he can come up with some, maybe we can we can entertain that, that conversation. But he over there telling me to put his name in the title and let him make a PowerPoint and all this shit here. Yeah. He told me that I played a video the other day and I clipped him out. I only played the part that I was in, and that uh yeah, I only played the part I was in, bro. So I never won't be tripping on like I'm still in this content. So, mighty Hebrew, if you want to watch yourself back, go what part are you talking about? I mean, what was what was the, what was the topic? Oh, uh, well, well, Ryan what was Hayes the topic was that y'all had discrepancy on? Well, well, it wasn't really a discrepancy. What but was the uh, discrepancy on the on the uh, subject? Well, Ryan Hayes was over there the other day, so it was a lot. They had an open panel, so um, I played it back on my channel. Oh, okay. but I didn't play. You know, I skipped through a lot of people. Point just got to my point where I came in with them. So he he accused me of cutting him out of my show, and and that was some sucker shit. So that's why he mad at me. And I'm like, bro, I skipped through Sister Freedom. A lot of people, like, you know, people I cut for. But damn, nigga, I'm getting to the to the good part. Your part wasn't good enough to make the clip the cut. But yeah, he and his feeling about that. So I'm beat the shit out of him. He around here fucking on 15 year olds anyway. Tell him, um, uh, man, please get him in the ring. I, I, I can't. I, 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 hey, bro, the fifteen-year-old shit. I don't know anything about that. You know what I mean? I only want to discuss that type of stuff, just, man. That's, he, he over there on Judah the Nazareth show. He on Judah the Nazareth show talking about that today. Talking about the girl was fifteen. That's him. He put it up there. I ain't. I only came over there to tell him that I was live, and I heard he had my name in his mouth. But shit, they was over there talking about some whole other shit. They got some other shit going on over there right now so i, li yeah, I, I like i like to see the debate bro i, I i'm gonna talk to him man because i, I like to see the debate what, what you think would be a good topic i don't that's what i'm trying to figure out what about he you didn't show his part but did y'all have a disagreement on something nah did y'all have nah, a did y'all have a disagreement on something i mean i don't know what the now we ain't have it oh you know what well, I came in, I just asked him. He brought up uh the Davenport uh tablets, he brought up the uh Los Lunes stone, he brought up the Newark stone, and I just told him that was fake. And he went oh, he's crazy. that he shit from uh, Puerto Rico and all that that yeah, a lot of that stuff. No, no, it's actually here, it's actually in America. Uh the Newark stones, all this is like Ohio, uh you got the Los Lunes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just told him the shit was fake. And um because what he don't know, and I'm not even gonna say nothing. If he tell him get his ass in the ring, watch what I do to him. Cause see, um, um, uh, it was Kazarian Jews who came up with it. That's what he don't know. But they was Cherokee Indians. They weren't real Cherokee Indians. They didn't come from America. They migrated over here. He don't know that. But I'm pulling out of this man. man. Tell him, come on, man. That's what hey, that sounds like some good shit, man. Y'all should hey, look, y'all should do it on neutral channel, man. Do it on Neftali channel. It's neutral. Oh, no, I ain't, I ain't, you know I ain't what I mean? Gonna, he ain't. This is what I'm gonna tell you, big homie. I ain't gonna lie. That, um, I know I'm not even gonna make no money off of it, so I ain't even gonna study and entertain him. I already got something. We can have a conversation. If it lead to a debate, then we can go to Neftali. But he gonna have to show some heart, cause that's why I was at the other day when I talked to him at Nafar. But he gonna have to show some heart. Well, you know Tell what I do? I'm gonna call. I'll call him up this evening, man, and maybe we can set up a uh, just have a dialogue. If y'all want, man, y'all doing my like I said, I got this this many followers, and I'll tell you got this many followers. So he could, if he wanted to be yeah, like no, neutral, I wouldn't worry about the 
followers and then like that, you know, if now say come through type cat, I'm coming through. Yeah, just to have something this has something, you know, it could be neutral, y'all have a conversation. You know what I mean? I could set that up. You know, and uh, hey look, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop my number in the back chat, man, because uh you got a lot of followers and that's all of us, man. Sometimes we gotta do some other shit outside the box, man. It, it can't be no one channel dominating everything on the base and shit, you know. But I think that'll be a great debate between you and uh Matt. He but it's a dialogue, man. Yeah, but I yeah, want him to come on. He want to come be, over here. He want to come to my channel. Okay, I'll talk to him. Yeah, he Okay, then we said debate up, man. That, y'all do that shit on left. I'm, like, I'm like, come on. But, you know, uh, yeah, but that's a bad OG. Uh, we, you know, figure it out. Let me know. Keep me in touch. Now I know how to get in touch with me. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it happen, man. But, uh, yeah, tell him, come on. I'll beat him up just on the cool. Show him he, he ain't got nothing. <laughs> he around here talking about a million years. Hey, this you know, my number. I'm dropping in the bat, man. All right. All right, that's a bit. Yeah, I dropped it back there. You should see it. All right, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, let me go see it. Yes, I mean, you know, y'all have a good, di you know, good dialogue, man. We could do something on my channel, yours, Neff Charlie channel, man, and get some. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, we got some good debaters on the FOPE, man. They Hebrews and some of them not Hebrews. We got some good ones over there. We got a couple of real professors over there. And of course, Neftali is our champion and shit, you know. So, man, I like I like the work that you do too. So uh let's bring yeah, up that. Lie, smoke, lie, man. Lie. I like the energy. You know, it's levels to it though. OG, them niggas can't lie, them niggas can't they they can fight somebody out of my chat, but them niggas can't fight me, man. Them, I mean. I don't know. I will go. I talk to him though. I love to come over there have a conversation. And so, just whenever y'all okay. Uh, wanna hey, look, you got my number. Hey, drop your number, man. You got my number, and I I set up had some guys that's gonna show you respect and vice versa, man. Have a good dialogue. You know what I mean? All right, that's a bit. That's a bit. We'll link up. But, all right, that'd be something we could do. Hey, man, thanks for having me on, man. Bless you and your audience, man. Uh, keep up the good work. Like I said, that'd be a good bounce between you and Matty Hebrew. And we got some good. Debaters or good conversation piece on my end, so uh, enough end, so that'd be great, man. Looking forward to talk to you, All bro. Right. All right, shalom. All right, peace, shalom. Shalom. All right, y'all. Uh, he said he's trying to um build off the platform off the top, <laughs> man. Um, mighty Hebrew got got that pussy. That nigga ain't finna do nothing with me. That nigga talking about making a PowerPoint, he want to fly you. He wanna now, bro. This ain't your coming night party. This ain't your coming back to the game party, bro. Nigga, or uh, you got a jacket on you from fucking on babies. Nigga, or uh, nigga, you that's always gonna be on you. And I ain't gotta bring up none of that. Can you nigga, like I told you, use a gentile. Nigga, until otherwise. But Oh man, my rookie year, I told everybody I never lose to a Pan African or Moor or Hebrew or any one of these niggas. And I kept my word. I've been here four years now, nigga, and I done kept my word. And it's really cheating if I fight any goddamn body. These niggas, uh nigga, uh Vada got me pissing in the cup. They trying to, yeah, they testing me for performing enhancement drugs right now. If there are no scholars in the game today. Cause don't nobody lecture if you don't lecture you ain't even dealing with information that's like a nigga cooking dope and um out the pirate nigga and chopping it up putting it on the scale nigga if you ain't you not even around uh on uh, information niggas niggas run around talking every day or talking about what they they studied before or what they think they know but you ain't even dealing with the information every day. You these niggas can't fuck with me. Like he said, he gotta go home and go make a PowerPoint. Nigga, I already got it on me. I already got mine on me. I showed a little snippet the other day. Y'all want me to play it back? Hebrew, uh, man, listen, bro. Some Hebrews I cut for. Y'all see Tazari, I can answer that. Tazari, I can get back at Sarnetta. He ain't crazy. Mighty Hebrew, damn, like, nigga, you an old Hebrew. You, listen. Hebrews was created by white folks. 
I'm nigga, and and don't don't come around me. I'ma hurt your feelings. I'm gonna bring out your white daddy. Y'all talk about Farad Muhammad in the Nation of Islam, but why we ain't talking about Marcus Garvey and them white folks? Marcus Garvey came here pushing that Hebrew shit. Ethiopian Jews. Now you niggas hopping out slave ships. I put lashes on mighty Hebrew. I tell uh he done ran his ass to Africa. Nigga trying to live off the grid. Oh, uh, just a shaking and bake snake oil salesman ass nigga, hook ass nigga. Nigga know your type, hook ass nigga, ex thief, shit like that. You know, oh, uh, penitentiary ass nigga. Oh, uh, yeah, let me take my shirt off. Yeah, nigga, what's happening? Scary ass nigga, he probably sitting in here right now. I'm gonna get off that nigga though. I didn't pop my top, I didn't came on my shirt and everything. Weak ass niggas, man. Anyway, man, let's get to the bill. <laughs> hey, y'all went crazy on them books last night. Oh, uh, goddamn, nigga. Oh, uh, man, it was like 17 people bought a book last night. I'm saying, goddamn, y'all niggas ain't know I had books. Y'all, so y'all just now finding out I got a book. God damn. Yeah, I'm going to ask that nigga. Uh, that nigga better put their own money up like that uh, nigga from Southwest yesterday, that Houston nigga, Foreign Park nigga. And my people know from out there. You know what I'm saying? Real, real groovers, nigga. He said he Hebrew is created by white folks. What about Ebri? Uh... Uh, hey, come pull up. Come, let's come up and let's have that conversation. Ebree, my ass. Ebree, all of that, nigga. If you're a Hebrew today, I apologize. I'm sorry to tell you, but it came from white folks. Come on up, bro. I'm willing to show proof. I don't just talk. Shout out to my nigga, uh, Gorilla Hebrew. But shit, he found out the hard way. He was just, I seen that nigga cutting the goat neck. Sacrificing the goat the other day. Oh, his his ass was the sacrificial goat. <laughs> say, say, day day. Say, I put my order in for the bronze and the beanie in the hoodie. Man, I gotta uh shoot you a refund on the hoodie. On the hoodie, we ain't got. Uh, I think you wanted extra large. We ain't got that size. Man, the bronze pack ain't really got nothing on it, bro. Y'all really gotta go platinum. I'm going to be honest, bro. The, the shit y'all going to be looking for is in the platinum. The bronze and the silver is when we first started. So that was like 2021. You, for the updated, you got to get the platinum. Um, I know that motherfucker high. Some days, man, I be doing deals on them hoes. We got a lecture coming up, too. So it'll be free with that. So... But uh yeah, go bronze ain't shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it against the silver. Uh, you know, best thing probably be black European. It ain't number twenty dollars. You get you about five videos about that, like five dollar video. But the real shit is in the platinum pack. That what they dope it. Yeah, you gotta go platinum. Uh, but appreciate the support though, day day man. Uh, what I'm gonna do is shit. If I got a shirt your size or something, I'm gonna send you a refund back for that. I got your beanie cap, and I'm try to put a shirt with it or something. You feel me, man? Hit this nigga go again, man. Man, what's up, bro? How the hell you found the link? Okay, brother. I just want to pick up where we left off yesterday. Man, nah, nigga, you you, you did. Man, nigga, nigga, I don't know what the fuck you niggas get off thinking y'all can just talk to me. Nigga, I'm about to go pick up a, a throne, a, a motherfucking king throne, nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga, special custom made, nigga. Uh, nigga, you think you can just run up and talk to me, nigga? Nigga, I'm Michael Jackson of this shit, nigga, nigga. You, security? <laughs> Brother. You be funny as hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, but yesterday, my brother, you said you said white was black and white was a status. 
you, you you said so you said the black Europeans were being called white. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Come on now, brother. You gotta remain consistent. Jesus is the Christ of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, man. What's up with that? Come on. So let's do it. Come on. Let's, now, can, you, doing easy shit. can you run it down to me one more again? No, <laughs> pay, pay me. Pay me, nigga. Hey, what you, nigga, pay me. What? How much you want? See how much you how much you got? I got dub on it. Twenty dollar. Yes, sir. So I'm a dope fan. You want me to wash your car? You want me to? You think you? I can still cut the front and back, yo, and weed eat it regularly? No, I didn't, it ain't no labor you involved, know, sir. Yeah, it's yeah, a labor it's of love, $20. but it ain't no physical it's labor. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, this ain't ninety eight. <laughs> ninety eight, nigga. It's a labor of love, my labor. brother. It ain't physical labor. You know what I'm saying? I drive a dually, nigga. Twenty dollars, nigga. I ain't gonna do shit for a dually, nigga. But piss off. You say you buying a dually? I drive a dually. It ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> piss it off, and I drive a foreign. That hoe you ninety three Supreme. It ain't gonna do nothing. Piss my gas tank off, nigga. What kind of dually you drive? Uh, a, a big dually, nigga. That's what kind, nigga. A twenty five, a twenty five hundred or a two fifty. Nigga, a, a twenty five hundred ain't no dually. You gotta be thirty five hundred, nigga. Four wheel drive. Oh, okay, you a thirty five hundred, not a three fifty. Right, nigga. Yeah, you ain't you ain't a Ford man, man. Then you ain't a Ford man. You driving a thirty five hundred. Nah, I'm from Texas. We don't drive Ford, nigga. You ain't gonna laugh at you. Yeah, I'm from Texas, nigga. You better not pull up in a Ford, nigga. Hey, hey nigga, hey. wanna be pretty. And go get these Fords, put them on the big rim. But nigga, we drive GMCs and motherfucking Chevys, nigga. In Texas, real men drive brother, Chevys. Brother, yeah, I'm from California, and I drive an F1. I drive an F150 Lightning, yeah, electric yeah, F150, you know, you sir. You. you know what I'm saying? You electric F150, you. sir. <laughs> yeah, you ain't pulling shit. That motherfucker ain't pulling nothing, nigga. No, nah, no, nah, pulling these nuts. You know what I'm saying? That's about yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? This nigga on Skid Row. Buying dick out Skid Row. This nigga is buying dick out Skid Row. Say he got them niggas out there pulling on his nuts. This the same nigga that fucked his cousin. Yeah, I had y'all know this the same nigga that had sex with his cousin who learned how to fuck by practicing on his cousin, his girl cousins while he was young. They ain't talking about niggas hopping in the truck, Johns. Hopping in the truck in a gun, pulling on his nuts. Now, what the fuck? We sitting here talking about trucks, some man shit, and this nigga want to let me know about he sitting there pulling on his dick while me and him having this conversation. What a dick pulling got to come in on this, brother? We was having a, a cool conversation. What a dick got to do with a motherfucking pickup truck? Brother. Brother. Brother, I, nigga, brother. Don't brother me because now that's slow ass 3500. You ain't pulling no horse trailers, you man, ain't no cowboy. Bye, 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 man. Bye, bye. He go from pulling on the dicks to horse dicks to listen, bye, nigga, bye. So, motherfucking ass out of my block. Fuck is wrong with these niggas today. Some told me not to go live on everything I love, nigga. Some say, man, just chill on it for the day. The fuck a horse in a nigga, 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 bye. And see, nigga be tripping when I say, well, nigga, you want a nigga fucking nigga pay me. You want to waste my time, pay me then. And then when I be nice and say, you know what, we can just chop it up because I'm really a, a, a down to earth type of dude. This is the type of shit happening. These weird ass niggas. Same nigga came in here and said he fucked his cousin, then tried to lie. And then we hit the replay button. And then you had some nigga jump in the comments and tell me that the, that the nigga didn't say that. Nigga, fuck you too, nigga. That's because you fucked on your cousin. Why else would you come in the defense of a nigga who out here uh, bragging about they learned how to fuck by fucking on practicing on their cousins while they was young? Nigga, um, get your motherfucking ass away from here. They got to watch them niggas that drive them Ford trucks. Yeah, you gotta watch them nigga drive them Ford trucks, nigga. They said they Ford tough, nigga. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta watch them nigga. They don't like to get their hand dirty, nigga. Boots ain't dirty. Oh, uh, yeah, nigga, nigga, please. 
Tell motherfucking ass away from here. These niggas are weird. Say he drive an electric dually. Yeah, nigga, you ain't finna make no money out there. My motherfucker ain't pulling nothing. You ain't pulling nothing. You ain't doing no man's job with that nigga. You need to go get in the car. Yeah, you need a car, nigga. You ain't pulling nothing with that. You trying to be cute. Tips say they all coming out this year. Yeah, this is a hell of a year. They uh what do they say we're in the age of Aquarius. <laughs> say, say <laughs> he say, uh, we not sharing our ram with no children of a new. Uh, who you talking about? Anawaki Jordan? Jordan, you ain't no Anawaki. What you a Nephilim? Mama Red said Ford Huff. Say nothing like an old school 3500. Them old last forever. He said that electric F-150 going to need a backup generator. Then say, nah, I drive a Ford Dually. My other one is a Ram. Ram 2500. Lainer, go on on, Lainer. Go on on, Lainer. Go on on, Lainer. You got my messages. Yeah, go on on. Go on, get your little bitty pretty uh, guardian angel ass on. Trying to figure out where the hell you been at. Nah, shout out to Lainer. <laughs> shout out to Lainer. All right, we going to uh, do this here, man. Um, I ask y'all, though, y'all think I ought to whoop that Hebrew? I think I'm gonna beat him up anyway. You feel me? I'm not gonna let him get off that. Um, he want a video. That nigga want a motherfucking me. Uh, uh he want a, a poster, and I we're not gonna do that though. I'm just nigga. We just gonna line the fade up. We gonna meet up. I ain't going on no Hebrew platform. Uh, y'all Hebrew gonna have to come over here. Yeah, nigga, I'm not fighting you in no motherfucking church, nigga. Yeah, nigga, my grandma was a praying uh, woman. Nigga, I ain't fighting you in the church. Y'all niggas gonna have to come over here to the sandbox. <laughs> yeah, them niggas wanna fight. In, nigga want me to come in the church and fight. Fuck that, nigga. We, we gonna fight in the... Come over here, nigga. We gonna fight in the sandbox, nigga. All right, man. I got a lecture for y'all, man. Um, Some news y'all can use, man. This is why y'all need to go get a platinum pack. All right? For all them people, it was 17 people bought a book last night. Fuck me up. Even I I might not be advertising uh good enough. And I normally I don't say nothing about it, but we said something last night and 17 people went and got it. Um uh, that was real. Uh y'all need to go get a platinum pack. I'm we're gonna drop a little bit of this game and then I'm gonna go get my chip, man. My 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 throne. Cause now I'm sitting on the throne on these weak ass niggas. Jabbar ran from me the other day. That was so cold. Got the Hebrews saying they want to fight. And nigga, you ain't doing nothing with me with no motherfucking Bible, nigga. Uh, slave catcher, King James, uh, ad nigga. King James is the same. It's Jamestown, Virginia. And look, y'all, that's the easy one. That just is keeping nigga on the outside of the jail. What you gonna do? They say King James fucked Lord Buckingham. Oh, uh, what you gonna do, nigga? Let's walk. Yeah, nigga, who they are honoring, nigga? Who are they honoring and why are they honoring them? Why they ain't got no European shit on? Because this ain't no European shit. Nigga, you gonna honor the master. The fuck is you talking about? See, because they say that the boy got- Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, uh, say Rodney, how you know? Rodney say prison in the South is a bunch of booty bandits. Uh, my question to you, Rodney, is how you know? How you know, Rodney? A nigga got dying on you? Rodney, you was in there washing drawers and shit, nigga? He said, YouTube. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Rodney, a nigga played with you, a nigga funded you, Rodney. See, you should have went in there, nigga, and fake like you was a gang member, nigga. You went in that hoe running so low neutral and you said he fucked on you. Got you in that bitch uh, writing mama talking about you need something on your books. 
Yeah, Fleece Johnson. Fleece Johnson say, nigga, you going to do this the easy way or the hard way? I told you, these niggas, they coming out, uh, Tiff. It's a hell of a 2024. P. Diddy, Rudy, yeah, you feel me? Man is up there this year, man. This nigga here just decided to let us know that a nigga fucked him in prison. What's up with it, Wolf? Turn up. You on mute. You on mute. That nigga couldn't fight. Oh, uh, yeah, that nigga ain't know how to fight. And that nigga, that nigga took his ass. Yeah, that nigga that got his booty played with talking about he learned it on YouTube. <laughs> you nigga need to stay off the internet. Turn up, Wolf. What's up with it? You, man, you a wild motherfucker, dude, man. <laughs> you a wild dude. Hey, um, I'm going to Cuba um in June. Is there anything you need me to do while I'm out there? Shit, bring me back one of them fine ass hoes, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Tell I, bitch, I'm a pay to, yeah, I'm gonna pay for the flight and everything, nigga. I just need <laughs> you to bring me back one of them hoes, nigga. Tell <laughs> bitch, I'm putting in the one bedroom, all bills paid. Uh we going yeah, we're gonna start a maid service and I'm gonna have that hoe cleaning up houses and shit. Yeah, tell that bitch I'm gonna make an <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs> you know what I do. <laughs> Hey, now nah, what you going out there for though? Uh, what you got out there? Oh, uh, I know I'm going. I know I'm doing. When I travel, I know I'm doing research when I travel. You know, historical things regarding. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what's the read? You got family down there, or are you just? No, oh, no, I'm just trying to travel. When I travel, I travel to do research. You, I have you solo I'm traveling, or are you going with the family? No, solo travel. Yeah, you finna go buy some pussy, nigga. No, 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 nigga. I know them nights. Nice, nigga. Bro, I ain't gonna do all that. Man, he get lonely, man. It, that bro, man, 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 lonely, man, 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 man. I'm not, I'm not that damn lonely, brother. Mm -mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty good. Well, you better than me, nigga. I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah, yeah I ain't know how to help out. Nigga, I, this how I do them hoes. I get to count my money right there. I get to act like I'm confused with this shit. I get to count money. And look over to the side, and make sure the bitch looking. Yeah, you and your friend, <laughs> bitch. Let's go. I'm in town for one night. Yeah, you better than me. Oh, uh, then I go, I go sightsee and do the, you know, the the tourism. I go take pictures and shit. But I'm gonna buy me a shot of pussy. No, yeah, no, bro. I, I no, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Don't need to do all that. I live for you. You take care of that for me, man. You got. It. You got it. <laughs> now nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> you know you can't even play with them in the chat. They gonna be like, "Damn, cheap buying pussy." Oh no, no, no! I swear on my life, I ain't never bought no pussy in my life. Oh, my daughter, oh my daughter, on oh my dead brother grave, I ain't never bought no pussy. I always, I'm, man, I'm, I got lucky. I was a cute nigga. I ain't never had to buy the pussy. Yeah, yeah real talk, real talk. T was a T was a chain today. Nah, that's a bad OG. Um, nah, man, just take a lot of pictures, bro. Um, that's all I say. And uh, she that that Cuba that's gonna be big. Um, but yeah, man, just take some pictures, the buildings, the structures, and all of that. You feel me? And yeah, okay. Uh, I'm in the yeah. Okay. Talk to the people too if you can. You find some. Yeah, ask them how long they've been down there. Um, maybe um. Nah, well, I ain't gonna say that. I was gonna say, uh, but yeah, just 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 talk to the people down there, ask them, you know, about the indigenous people down there. Do they know about the, you know, if they indigenous, they have the blood or what happened down there? Did Africans come there? All that type of shit. Okay, I can definitely do that. You gotta, if you have a live in that time, I'll try to tap in while I'm oh, out there. Yeah, that'd even be live. We get a, a live tour. Yeah, that'd even be yeah, live. I, 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 I can do that for you. Real talk. Real talk. All right, bet. Uh, you know how to get in touch with me, huh? You got me on on the app and on um and IG, right? Yeah, uh huh. Yep. Yeah, just hit me up and uh, we'll make it happen. See, when you down there, I'm gonna go live. We turning up. Okay, good enough. Good enough. One more right. thing too, brother. Um, yeah. I have not got my hard copy yet. I wouldn't push the issue, but you saying you got the? I heard the last video. You see, I only got ten left. I like. I need to be in that damn group of ten. <laughs> I need to be in that group of ten. 
Yeah, uh, I got you. I'll say one for you. Okay, because I ordered mine in January. I haven't received it yet, but um, oh damn, damn, man. See, you got a t-shirt, told me, man. All right, well, you I got you, man. I sent that bitch out today. today. Okay, yeah. When I leave, go get my own um, chill, man. I'll drop it out. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That'll definitely work. All right, bet. Hey, y'all the minute, my bad. Oh, I'm here to the Dominican Republic also. Oh yeah, you gonna buy some pussy in the minute. They not gonna I'm let you. I'm good, in, bro. bro. Bro, I'm good, yeah, bro. bro. I bro all all in, this your first time in DR? I've been in DR three times, bro. I've been in Mexico. Now, three man, times. What you good, tell, tell me what you tell them? How you get them out for you? I keep it moving, they bro. Run up them DR girl, man. They gonna grab your dick. Every they gonna walk up. I, 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 I guess it's my energy, and I don't receive that kind of kind of kind of energy, oh, bro. Damn. Yeah, they yeah, walk yeah. Good. They be trying to tell me, I mean, they polite, but uh, I ain't going no further than that. Yeah, well, shit, I'm going out there, nigga. I'm, 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 I'm testing them walls. I can't wait to get to DR. <laughs> you know, I'm bringing U.S. dollars with me, nigga. I can't wait to get down there. Oh, nah, that's a bad whoop, though. We gonna go and turn up on the <laughs> <laughs> wild boy. Man, nigga, I don't know with that. Boy, nigga, pop up in Miami on your ass. <laughs> You go out there, go stay at the Majestic Hotel. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look yeah, it up. Majestic is fire, bro. I mean, you, you that, that's a good spot. Uh, good spot. what they topless? What they what they doing? Like, no, nah, ain't no, it's not topless. Clothing bro. optional? <laughs> what they got? Clothing optional? No, 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 not the Majestic. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to go watch no old ass motherfucker lay by the pool and shit. They ain't no they drop people out there, but no, nah, they ain't naming no clothes on. Though. It ain't like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I'll be in hot dollar spots where it be clothing optional. You know, you come in there, they bring you the champagne and a Nicky oh, bitch no. walk by. And I'm like, nigga, I'm in paradise. Palm tree, nigga, coconut, wrong. They got the oh, they got the yeah, that's that type of shit. I sneak away on y'all niggas to go do. I come do the lectures and the hard work, but when I, I sneak off and I be on... Uh, but naked beaches and shit like that, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what, Dad? You mentioned something about going down to Mexico to meet the original people on the the, the Maya out there. Right. I mean the original people. You know the melanated people. Um, mm -hmm. on the um the peninsula that you saying. When you when you decide to take that trip, I'm coming. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. We're gonna have to go like a canoe. I'll come uh, 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 with you, dude. For real talk, yeah, come with you. Canoe over there. We're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna need some soldiers because, yeah, ain't no telling uh, if you're gonna go down. Yeah, we gotta cross the water and all that shit, but yeah, we can do yeah, yeah. it. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing me one back, and we starting a, a goddamn maid service. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm driving back. <laughs> they gonna say you U.S. citizens, yeah, we U.S. citizens, nigga. When we get to the border, yeah, I'm driving it. Oh, back. Yeah, well, it's, it's a certain yeah. energy for, for real when it come to uh, come to the real talk. It's just different, a certain energy that you, that people uh, you know when they receive you out there. Definitely different energy, real positive, you know. Yeah, you can see them looking at you. They be staring like you know. I yeah. see other people take snapshots of me and everything. Or they will ask you, can we take a picture? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yep, that's true too. That was like when I went to Panama too. Um, yeah, I met been everywhere. All them. You got that Aaron Walking Taino in you. Yeah, I, travel, I travel, I travel, I move. You know, um, I met the um. Chief Kyra Naga, that that Taino, that that Taino Aaron Walking in you or something. Oh well, I mean, hey, I, 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 I have Scottish average in my family, so I mean, hey, it's Dale. No, I said Aaron Walking, them Taino, them Island or uh, Indians. That ain't nothing but Mayans any goddamn way. Yeah, them niggas ain't right, nothing right. but branches of Mayans. Yeah. Yeah, I met with the um the chief of um of the southern tribes out in um in Panama. Cool dude, man. Real cool dude. See, that's the type of work we need. Them them primaries right there. That shit last. Yeah. I can I can send a video to you. I can send it oh, to you. Okay. Um, you yeah, yeah. I can send a video with your kids. Um, doing a little um, you know, a little yeah. Indian dance. Out there, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, it, um, you got, but you got to take that walk, though, bro. That walk <laughs> is real. I videotaped yeah. that too, but they got a spring out there. Um, how long? Hold on, how long the walk? By how, how many minutes? 
Uh, you talking about at least um a good forty five minutes to an hour? Yeah, that's Tulum. You got, I mean, you Tulum. You got water, mud, yeah. Yeah. climbing rocks. Oh yeah, you getting it in. So everybody ain't gonna be able to make that trip. I mean, you got to be pretty kind of these average fit to be able to um to do it. I mean. Oh yeah, but that's that's not like uh uh to walking nigga. That that's a it's like a forty five minute to walk till you get to the pyramid of the sun to loom just to get back there, man. But see, I seen they start. They had like a little bus that'll take you. I ain't know that at first. I walked, man. I, I like took a the bus. Walk, I ain't had nothing left. I took the bus. Like four water bottles just on the walk going there. Then you got to make the walk back. Nah, that's a yeah, it's hot on that bitch too. Real talk. I was out yeah. there to loom, um, out there, um, what in um September last year. I was out there, stayed oh, out there for uh yeah. what's called them little six yeah lux lux be in the chat she down there uh in tulum right now she needs okay to see yeah, some of them yeah. yeah. Lux, just, you know, some of them pictures of paradise yeah it's real nice lux we need them sources lux your little fine ass out there in paradise uh with some rapper some nfl uh nba ball player uh, lux, oh, we need oh yeah she bad bad she bad, she bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Yeah, she be playing shadow. Yeah, she is. She pulling NBA ballers. Yeah, she know she got to be right. Yeah, she down there with a goddamn ball player. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> but that's a bad OG. Let me go and knock this bill out. And uh, well, we probably be live for like another hour. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, I sit back and watch, bro. I sit back and watch. All right, appreciate you. I know that, bro. Peace. Look at them niggas out there. No, she ain't got no social media, nigga. So you niggas can't. Yeah, she ain't got no social media. So you niggas can't go take a good look and get hooked. <laughs> history, but everybody around here giving praise to him. Why they ain't giving praise to the European? The fuck? Hold up. Man, what we doing, bro? Man, what's up, bro? Five dollar any before five dollar any is man, but see they ripping they sit. Oh, shout to uh New Orleans man. Hey, look, you see how the big chiefs used to carry that shotgun? Y'all see them? They got them shotguns in them. And at the Mardi Gras, y'all see what they be holding? What the Mardi Gras chiefs them be holding? The flag boy and them be holding it. Come on, man. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say this here. This is what a lot of people don't know. They always like to say, uh, New Orleans. Uh, you know that the Africans went ran and lived with the Indians and all this. Oh, who made that story up? Do y'all see these people on the screen? This who made the story up? Okay, these people. These are the people who gonna start the 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 Mardi Gras in the sense of what they use today because nigga was already practicing it. And guess what? The first name that they named it was an African name. This is where you get your Zulus and all of that, right? Them, them going to be the first ones that's going to come through the crew. K-R-E-W-E, -E, nigga. See, I mean, I, we got so many bars. We ain't even got to get to to start dropping yet. But these people at this organization, they're going to come down there and organize it. It was already going down. Once they organized it, they made theirs the main attraction. And they the one who put out this story about nigga. But these was, it was white folks in it. These are also the people that's going to come down into Texas and, and south at the border where it was number niggas at. And they're going to uh, come in and remove even the Buffalo Soldier graves. I'm talking about niggas who had medals of honor. 
Yeah, they moved the bodies from down there and moved them to Louisiana with the help of the government. This organization been around a long time. I'm, I'm as we see, it's an hour through the presentation, so we starting right here. But so you probably could have told y'all more about it. Go get the platinum pad. You can watch it. I'll go get the the poker hunters uh series. You can watch that three part series. Uh, but um, these are the people that's gonna create the carnival, nigga. That people know today, but it's this organization. I never came out and said that. That 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 should have went in the bill, but now I'm so backed up on shit. I I'm trying to get out. I really wanted to drop that game right there, but we'll come make it clear. What if they get them African name? Why is a white boy sitting here naming it an African name? And why you as a Pan African scholar, nigga, don't know that? And if you standing on that, why every time we catch you, niggas, y'all next to a white boy? Somebody tell me something. Colonizing ass nigga. Come on, bro. See, ain't nobody teach them down there. Man, why is my shit keep on tripping? <coughs> Gas. Hold on, man. What the fuck? Hey, jump on that like button, y'all. We, we can do a lot better on the like button. We can do a lot of we can do a lot better on 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 the like button. And, uh, yeah, but yeah, this is the whole drip, the whole little setup, and uh, let's walk. Alpha, let me know is it we, we well, good now? The improved order of the red men. They had to improve. They had. A sister society. Check. They had a sister society. It was called the degree of who? Come on, somebody. The degree of Pocahontas, which was a female auxiliary of the improved order of red men. The an American Tiffany said 165 life. Tiffany, I know you a good God fearing woman. So I don't want to call you no lie. I don't want to look down there and see it's only 165 likes in here. Oh man, that's that's crazy, bro. If it's 165 likes, I mean that is the ultimate disrespect. This is what I want to say. Winners win, nigga. Winners win. It's a mindset, it's an attitude, homie. It's a lifestyle. Nigga, you are nigga, nigga, you are losing. The fact that you will sit up and come here and come pull on my energy, nigga, without uh hitting the like button, man. That says a lot about you and where you going, goddamn, in life, nigga, and where you are in your life right now. Nigga, winners win, period. Losers lose. You don't even have a winning. See, look, this is my thing. Nigga, if you had a winning attitude or if you were uh, uh, on your way to some kind of you goals or anything that you got set, homie, nah, man, you not finna have that in your heart. You late, too lazy to hit the, or nigga, you not even self-conscious to hit the, nah, you, nigga, you ain't on your way nowhere. You ain't on your way nowhere. You ain't got nothing you working towards. Nigga, it's the beginning of the year. How in the hell you ain't got no fight in you already? Nigga, life is beautiful, nigga. We up today, nigga. You fuck what circumstances we going through, nigga. And nigga, you got breath in you. You got another chance, nigga. Turn the shit around. But it's going to start with you, homie. I mean, just the fact you ain't hitting the like button, that mean the people that you been around don't mean shit to you. The channels you frequent and the other motherfuckers you frequent, or you just a boy ass nigga that you got to goddamn use the internet to goddamn me get you through the day. What we doing, homie? Nigga, winners win. It's an attitude, homie, and it should be a lifestyle. That's a high vibration, nigga. Not hitting the low, the like button. You on some low vibration shit. Now you, nigga, I hope you able to look in the mirror, nigga, and see who you really are. Yeah, you got to make some changes, homie. Your mindset fucked up. You too lazy, nigga. You ain't even subconscious, nigga, of hitting the like button or nigga to even mean it, nigga, to put some energy back in the game. 
you damn sure ain't finna put no change in the motherfucker in the in the in the drop box, nigga. So nigga, push some energy, push some life, share the video, give a positive goddamn comment. Instead, you sit your ass in the back ready to steal some game or sitting back there or 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 nigga with an evil spirit. Nigga, you understand me? Because the young nigga winning. And to all the whole ass niggas that's sitting in the chat, you envious ass niggas, stay away from me, cuz. Just cause I ain't said nothing, but nigga, keep y'all nigga, don't come around me, cuz. On who bang, nigga, I don't wanna see you. If a turn of order. Let's walk, man. I'm out here playing my good uh, shit today, uh, too. Uh, nigga, I ain't got nigga, I ain't got but a hundred likes. And nigga, I brought the good shit out. Niggas paid for this. They probably sit here mad, pissed off right now. Like, nigga, I gotta pay for that. And these bitch ass niggas in here getting it free, and these niggas won't even hit the like button. Nigga, like, nigga, I dropped a couple hundred dollars for this shit. And these niggas get it free, and these niggas sit back. And nigga, nigga, why would somebody fight for you? Why would somebody want to do anything for you motherfuckers? Fucked up ass black folk mentality, nigga. Nigga, ain't nobody got to do nothing for me, nigga, because I'm going to hold my own. Everybody on the line ought to feel like that, nigga. These niggas want something. These fucked up bullshit ass doctrine these niggas got out here. Indoctrinated ass niggas. They ain't never did nothing but use you niggas. Made you niggas look up to these niggas and they ain't worth shit. Y'all just watch the boy catch that pussy, but this nigga he'll come back when I'm gone. He asking you niggas for something. He asking you niggas to come support something. Ask you niggas to go somewhere with y'all. But when it's time to stand on that shit he talking about, he can't even defend it. Nigga got you nigga living a lie that he can't even defend with the truth. And not a lot of these niggas around here conditioned. And I blame a lot of these content creators nigga, with microphones too. I mean, goddamn nigga. I mean, niggas ain't putting out no good work. Keep it gangster. Niggas are not putting out good work, but a nigga will still ask for something. Nigga will still want to be treated for it, but niggas are not putting out relevant good work. Niggas botch to put in the chat and all type of shit. To fool the people, nigga, into coming in and thinking it's going down, but nigga, the content ain't work. Uh, uh, man, come on, man, stop playing, stop playing, man. Hit my motherfucking like button, nigga. Elmira, New York. The idea of creating a female degree was first broached in the early 1850s. However, it wasn't until the I O R M's Great Council of 1885 that the degree was approved okay now i want somebody to help me out on this check there they go biggie biggie there hey biggie biggie becky say she poke a honey poke a honey is her ain't it? <laughs> becky say she poke monkey and poke a hunter is her auntie <laughs> Here you talking about? Becky? Becky says she is Po Monkey and Pocahontas is her auntie. Yes, sir. Y'all ready for this one? <laughs> I was a bit they, they trying to put that together. <laughs> it was first broached in the in 1850s. Okay. What else happened in 1850? Y'all ready for this here? What else did they do for females in this world in 1860? Because all of these things look like they are mirroring each other, family. What else happened? Oh, we're not gonna go too deep though. We're gonna say that for themselves. I had like 16 slides in here for this one, but god damn it, I say, you know what? Y'all need y'all on show. Because the order of Eastern Stars is a Masonic. Body open for both men and women. It was established when in 1850. It was established in 1850. And what they were doing for poker hunting them, because I told y'all these the same. They first came up with the idea in 1850. Come on, man. Hold on. We're gonna get there. We're gonna go through there. 
we're gonna go through this. Am I saying there's something wrong with this? I I I I openly said no, I I I I don't think it's nothing wrong with it. Whew, they go grandma and grandma. And a lot of you niggas don't think so, nigga, because they go grandma right there, they go big mama. They go big mama and her sister. <laughs> hey C though, what's up with it, lady? Say we've been oppressed outside still holy, nigga. I've been oppressed in the hills of North America. Here you talking about. Don't they look oppressed? Man, you see the goddamn oppression on their face. Ooh, they look like a slave. <laughs> yeah, like they fresh from, fresh out the yard picking cotton. <clears throat> satin glove, they pick they cotton. They, they pick cotton with satin gloves. Vito, what up though? Ooh, they just look like they've been abused. Somebody, beat somebody on been them. beating on them, yeah. been raping and fucking on them. They got a lot of ass in front of them aprons. A whole lot of ass and heel, hips and ass, hips and ass, hips and ass. And they go to white brands. Boy, you ain't never see these niggas, boy, without the white boy. He cop, he cops in the super chat. But guess what? All we see is you niggas first, and then guess who they put in spot? Oh, how does the black European dug out? Oh, he got a white boy. Put the white oh, boy in the front. Bitch. Oh, put him out there on the front. Yeah, yeah. Say, 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 ain't nobody seen the owner of the house? Nah, 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 nah. Don't let it go over their head, Chief. Run it back. Because you be playing this shit and niggas don't be knowing when you for real or what. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you be fucking around. Nah, nah, for real though. So, so, so what he action is, He's saying, where's the owner of the house? Because this, the narrative we were giving is that the Indian uh, died off of chicken pox and all this, right? You know, they came, disease killed off all the Indians, right? But what he proved in his lecture is that uh, it's going to go through these secret orders, fraternities, the bloodlines. And a nigga walked you down and he going to show you how they niggas been in control but now all of a sudden we see the white boy they didn't send the white folks out there and propped them up and got niggas thinking these the niggas who running the show when that is absolutely incorrect these niggas are hiding behind them first off if we looking for a suspect after the civil war they said the british did it everybody they did the whole ass british niggas but when you look into uh the history you see the people that's the British are fighting with the people who are trying to keep their land. British even passing laws saying, hey, man, let, hey, y'all niggas jacking, stealing land. Nigga, that ain't, nigga, I ain't on that type of time. I fuck with these niggas. My baby mama brother and them, oh, uh, yeah, nigga. That's that nigga, baby mama brother. He like, nigga, them, that's my family, nigga. Y'all robbing, so them niggas who created the U.S., counter they did that to counter the british and so when you get to the revolutionary war you know it ain't no uh revolutionary the, the, the british fighting the colonists no there was indians on the other side they created the united states did they have some um europeans with them yep hold on let me keep my spot 104 i'm gonna prove it 104 that's one that's my spot Oh man, I got some good drop right here, man. I probably could have went back a little further. I could have probably went back a little further, man. Give me what I'm looking for. Come on with it. For the five civilized tribes, bro. I think I might need to go back and get, get y'all that drop. Where is it? I know it's in here. Where you Freemason ass niggas at? Yeah, where you masonry niggas at? See, me and Rod was talking about some of this the other day. I ain't get, I ain't get to get all the way in my bag. Hold on, bro. I know I got this switch, and I think it's in here. My fault, y'all. In the chat. All right, or maybe I ain't got to the bitch. Okay, I ain't got to it. All right, well, shit, let me let Cub run his plate in. He ain't even got to it. So, bam, all right, after we come up out of there, so what he's saying is 
um, when you're looking for a suspect in the crime that happened, you're not even going to think about an Indian because they didn't told you that the Indian died off. See? And now they wonder why they got these Asian niggas out there in front. Why they got niggas running around talking about so when white folks took over. Nigga, that's you walking around here thinking white folks your master. Nigga, we beat the shit out of white niggas. I'm from Texas, nigga. Uh, uh, shout out to Vince Young. That white boy slept Vince Young. Hey, look, look out, man. Nigga, it happened to anybody. <laughs> They got on Vince Young the other day. Next post I seen Vince post was happy birthday to I think mama, grandma, or somebody. I said, damn, nigga, that fucked up. Uh nigga, right now, why you going viral? Uh, but anyway, nigga, um, so I'm like, hey man, what the owner of the house said? Cause homie was just standing right here. And now the Indian gone. Ain't nobody even gonna suspect him to have nothing to do with the crime. They put it, they say the British did it. But the British fight with everybody that's fighting to keep their land. That's who side the British is fighting with. Nigga, this is my kinfolk. You got these other niggas who rushing them. 13 colonies. Once they said, man, we, <clears throat> after the Revolutionary War, they took the show on the road and came down south. You had to go get the Northwest first because, see, they had left the Northwest before they... They had left out of the Great Lakes before they went to Virginia. So they doubled back after the Revolutionary War and went back up there. And then they came down south. Nigga, that's why the Civil War not to the 1860s. Man, niggas ain't got no footwork. A fucking Hebrew Bible thumper talking about he want a nigga. I will dump you on your motherfucking head, nigga. Fuck you think, nigga, you gonna do with me and you believe in Jesus. Say hey, we've been oppressed. I've been oppressed. Chaz, what's up with it, Chaz? Chaz, why your heart? Heartbreaker. Man, you can see the goddamn oppression on their face. Sister Freedom, what's up with it? Ooh, they look like a slave. <laughs> this nigga here. Man, yeah, get y'all like home. Fresh, from, fresh out the yard picking cotton. Get y'all home, boy, man. Satin glove. They pick their cotton. They, they pick cotton with satin gloves. Bougie. Who they just look like they've been abused. Bougie, just how I Somebody like them. been beating on them. Massa been raping and fucking on them. They got a lot of ass in front of them aprons. Yes, Lord. Praise Jesus. And they can cook. That was the area where all of them can cook. This and now you got a lot brain. of motherfuckers. Boy, you ain't never see these nigga boy without the white boy. Never, never, never. But guess what? All we see is you niggas first, and then guess who they put in spot? Oh, oh. how did the black European dug out? Oh, he got a white boy. Oh, got a white bitch. Oh, put him out there on the front. Yeah, yeah. Becky? Say, 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 ain't nobody seen the owner of the house? Hey, look at it. Was, my nigga was just standing. Where my boy go? Standing there. Yeah, the one just standing right here. Had the feather in his shit. No, you ain't seen it. What, 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 um, Eddie Murphy told that nigga on, on life? Hey, what that girl that was saying here? He said, the bitch with the, he said, you know what? Well, the next time I come here, whatever bitch I'm talking, that's who, that's who. <laughs> Since everybody playing crazy around this hoe, huh? Ain't nobody seen your boy. Next time we hear the nigga die of the chicken pox. That Rona got him. Ain't T. Oh, they in the country. Too. Ain't T. In the backwoods. Where you niggas say y'all from? Where you say your genealogy? Oh, Out okay. the sticks. Yeah, they say they from the sticks, chief. Mm -hmm. Way down yonder. Yeah, right? Okay, they building them up back there, too. Everybody but us know the goddamn secret, huh? Yeah, everybody, everybody but us, huh? What on the ship, well, they also will go on to create the National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Daughters of the American Revolution and the National Society of Children of the American Revolution, you know what fucked up? which is the nation's oldest, largest patriotic youth organization and offers membership to anyone under the age of 22. Now, the reason why I brought them up is because these whole Indian traditions, in the back they playing Indian, they got Indian dresses on, they doing little rituals, and they got a hold to the science. Now, me, myself, I could 
nigga, I I can go sign up and get my work and 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 become a son of the rev of the revolution. Cause my family fought in the Revolutionary War. I can prove I got the records, direct line type of shit. Yeah, I ought to go in there and be the spook set by the door. What y'all think? Y'all think I ought to go goddamn me sign up? Now he go to degree of Pocahontas. You had to demole, uh, which the origins of uh, a Masonic sponsored male group. It go back to the World War One time. Now demole is the nigga from the Jackie's demole. Nice and Templar. My Swedish side, my grandpa knew they was Templars. For years, him and his brother nigga buried in Riley nigga next to his wife. Man, I got some nigga. Are you from the bloodlines of the guards? You see the title? Let's walk. Who else we got? Who else we got up here? Nigga, but I'm I'm like LeBron. I'm a pass the ball, goddamn. So oh, okay, he got the joint. Identified them might as the order of Christ, but that was just one of their branches. And you got a branch of Freemason with them. Oh, because the nigga was just standing right here. <laughs> man, how the hell I turned my head this nigga that man, nigga. tell him come on back out here, man. We was having a good conversation. Man, don't do don't fuck up me like that, man. The come nigga on. didn't put the white boy out there. Now these nigga running around here talking about well, how when white folks start being our master. You was a dumb ass nigga. Now let's watch this here because you know niggas, niggas will play on you. Ain't nobody gonna play on you like a nigga. You gonna catch a white boy game. You gonna catch a Mexican game. You gonna catch a, hey, you gonna catch all these nigga game, man. Now a nigga fucking with the right nigga, he gonna play on you. <laughs> so he, fucking with the right nigga, he gonna get you, man. Now let me show you how this shit go, right? I'm gonna tell him I know I ain't crazy. I was just sitting here talking to the boy. Oh, let's rock. I just want to rock. I just want to rock. Body out of ya. Man, come get your eyes. I just want to let walk. Man. And so they say, they say, they say, they say, the act of wearing Indian dress. Hold on, I'm finna show y'all how these niggas play. Because the niggas who created the United States gonna come back and blame it on the British. Whole time is him. And the reason why we don't see him, because he got a white boy in the spot. But when we started out, we showed you how the presidents and the nigga at these times was niggas. All these niggas, bro. Not only that, but they Indians too. But the Indian wrote itself out the story. I told you the only nigga that can, cause they always say, well, they really they wrote us out of history. Well, in order to write you out of history, they would have to know you. The European came over here. The European ain't know the nigga down south until the 1800s. Listen to me. Some of you nigga born in 1940s, 50s, and 60s, nigga. That mean a hundred years before you was born, nigga. The European niggas ain't know nothing about you niggas in the South. They ain't even made it down there. You not no 13 colony nigga. That's 13 colony. They been knowing them niggas that long. Them niggas came down south, just met us in the 1800s. Nigga, the similar wars went from 1816, nigga, to 18 to after the Civil War. So they didn't even know us, nigga. After 1865, they trying to get to know us. That's what I'm telling you. So 100 years from now, nigga, when you were born in 1960, these folks don't know us. Nigga, that's why they had just did uh, uh, integration, nigga, in 65. 1965, this recent civil time. And they throw you off with it. And nigga told my, damn, the white boy been my master. Bitch, shut up for I backhand you. You deserve it. Fuck is a white boy, your master, nigga, in 1898. Republicans been taking care of white folks since they brought them over here. That was 1898, Wilmington, North Carolina. Look it up, nigga. They created the fusion party, nigga, because the Democrats understood we got to start giving these migrants something or they going to they they gonna lose us in the vote. The Republican niggas taking care of them. Nigga, that's all the way up to the 20th century. Nigga talking about a white boy beat him on the farm. Nigga, if you can't whoop a white boy, then you deserve to be tied to a tree and whatever, nigga. Nigga, you can't, you a nigga and you can't whoop a white boy? Yeah, nigga, tied weak ass up. Nigga, we don't fuck with the weak. The guards don't fuck with the weak. Nigga, the guards only take the winner. Man, nigga, we ain't make the rules. The guards take the winners. The loser get to live his life, nigga, in misery 
and knowing that he wasn't good enough for the gods. That type of shit. But let's walk. So, like I said, the nigga that did it, gonna make, he gonna create the U.S. because they they countered the rules that Britain put in place because them niggas was taking property, taking land that didn't belong to them and selling it. So they put in the rule. The king dropped the rule. Say, look out, homie. That's my baby mama, brother. And them, bro. I fuck with them. You, we got a nice money play because this commercial trade. I got a nice. I got business with them. The Indians out the northeast say, "Fuck that nigga. They on my G pass, and they created their own shit. That's why the Constitution, U.S. Constitution, is mirrored after the Great Law of Peace. Goddamn, if I ain't announced it the first time, that mean I ain't announcing it the second time." Yeah, if I ain't answer the first time, that mean I'm not answering it the second time. All right, so check it out. So, um, so the homie and them, they said, okay, well, fuck it, nigga. Since you got rules and then they on the King Charter, they got to follow the rules. Well, look, you on my G pad, nigga. This is my house. Yeah, so nigga, this, this is my house. So he created his own program so he could bring in niggas and then they ain't got to run by, they ain't got to go off the rules that the king uh, of Britain put down. Fuck that nigga. Then nigga, this is my house. They on my G pass, cuz. And then that, now we step into them. And boom, they that's what the the the, uh, the, the, the Seven Year War, the, the Pontiac War, and the Revolutionary War break out. 1779 they sent them killers back up there sullivan and nigga to go take care of the business with the syndicate them niggas who they broke out fighting with the first time once they knocked them off now it's time to move down south we need georgia and florida the spanish in florida and so 1790 they make the treaty but it ain't uphold because 1791 they came back and had to do the treaty of hosting because them niggas still was trading with the niggas down in, 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 in um Spanish Florida. A lot of them Indians knew each other, so they still was was hustling with them. But from the 1788 treaty, they agreed that they weren't gonna fuck with them niggas down there. But what they were doing was just taking the U.S. money. Y'all some ho, what you gonna do? And he still was hustling with his plugs down in, 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 in Florida and Georgia. Well, they find out they come back and make a treaty of hosting in 91. Well, you had some Cherokees move west, Chief Bowles and them, they left. 94, you get teleco, treaty teleco, but also you get the newly formed Cherokee government. Now they ready to set up shop. They gonna move down in the North Georgia, old Mayan territory. They knew the gold and all that shit was down there. The room was all that shit was down there. And then it's going to turn up in the 1800. 1803, the uh, uh, Louisiana Purchase. 1807, the Federal Road through through Georgia, which was going to get them to um, um, Louisiana. Because, all right, we got this property, this play down in Louisiana, but we can't get down there. And then, not to mention that, it's already niggas down there. Who got clout? All y'all granddaddy, because Louisiana was filled with black slave owners. Black slave owners even enslaved the Asian coolies and the niggas that came from India there too. Black slave owners did it. That's why the National Guard, go back to my Ku Klux Klan bill. I'm going to show you on there how them niggas in Louisiana went and they fought for the Confederate first because they were protecting their home. They the plantation owners. And then they moved over when the, um, 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 the, the, uh, the North came in and made a deal with them. Look out, homie, you can keep the land. We ain't tripping on the land. That ain't what we want. We want everything and ain't choice. So they gonna end up getting a lot of land in North Louisiana opposed to South. But it was a lot of them land owners there. A lot of them niggas escaped and came to Texas, border Texas. So now you got niggas out of Lafayette, New Iberia, Shreveport, all of them on that line. They gonna have cousins in Lufkin, uh, Jefferson, Tyler, uh, Nacogdoches, uh, 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 motherfucking Jasper, uh, uh, Livingston, uh, nigga on the Trinity River. Yeah, nigga, why you think it's like that? Beaumont, Orange, Texas. That's where they coming from, bro. 
Oh, nigga, you even go a little deeper, nigga. Mick now. Oh, uh, country ass Mick now, nigga. All of that coming up 10. Cause 10 was an Indian. That was an Indian highway train post. And then they came through and knocked down and moved a lot of the students that went to Wheatley High School in Fifth Ward and moved them to Cashman shit. Moved them niggas on the other side because they put out 10 right there. Anyway, uh, so the niggas that was on the US side, they didn't they didn't they didn't feel like they was Europeans. Now nah, these niggas said they was Indians. Let's walk. Was expressed to the world that the American colonists identified themselves as American and no longer considered themselves British subjects. Did y'all hear him? the colonists, the niggas who they tell y'all are colonists, they didn't look at themselves as, as British subjects or, or Brit. They weren't born there. They was born in America. Bro, my daddy from there, my mama is an Indian. My cousins and shit is Indian. Niggas, I grew up fighting, wrestling, sports. I want to go outside and play with. They Indian. I, don't, I ain't never been to Europe, nigga. So now in their mind, nigga, they Americans. They, nigga, we Indians. And this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. That went to after the Civil War when they started talking about, oh, what a white man in Britain did that. Nigga, look, watch the play. Let me show you what happened. I told y'all they created the United States so to get them niggas from under the king and let them do business here, grant them uh business here, goddamn, so we can finish running our play. We can go kick niggas' doors in. That's the shit they like to do. Yeah, nigga, we trying to kick a door and open fire. Yeah, so they wore the Indian uniforms and the dress. We hold on, hold on. This nigga here gonna stop my show and tell me to drop the link. Rodney Black. You know we watching a, a, a show and you gonna say drop the link. I ought to make you pay me, nigga. But come on, come up here. What's up? I'm trying to remember what comment he made. Geeky slow measy. What up though? Yeah, man, we putting them on a the little game, man. Just dropping a little ism for them. Which had they master teacher favorite master teacher been a down the low doing when the french and indian war when the way we start off at and the french and indian war when they put the play together man stop playing with somebody man go find your little boy to play with man and y'all be in these niggas face like they so smart these niggas don't know shit not a motherfucking thing we on the same team nigga been playing with chief around this whole Nigga, like I ain't been hogging the goddamn game, nigga. Nigga, but I'm I'm like LeBron. I'm a pass the ball. I want to see us all win, but damn, nigga, we ain't going the same direction, nigga. I might well up this hoe. And yeah, you. nigga, the greatest of all time, nigga. Greatest of all time, nigga. Big chief in this hoe. Man, nigga, the nigga Woodcraft Indians was an American youth program established by Ernest Thompson. It was later renamed the Woodcraft Leave of America. The program. Also utilized overseas and many other overseas programs still exist to today in the United States. The Woodcraft, the first Woodcraft tribe was established in 1902. Huh? Come on, man. Come on, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, somebody. They say make the ancestors proud, Chief. Step on them. Step on them, Chief. Nigga can't fuck with you, Chief. You the big chief. They can't study that long, chief. They can't read that long without falling asleep, chief. These niggas really ain't in the information, chief. They really ain't digging, chief. They saying the same thing everybody else saying, chief. Them niggas ain't picked up no new balls till you came, chief. These niggas can't fuck with you, chief. They can't hold you, chief. Drive them, chief. Step hey, to Brick, them. get out of my front Step lawn. to them. Stay smart. Stay hey, uh, Brick, get out of my yard before I block your ass from the whole thing. Get out of my yard, nigga. Bye. Get out of my yard. Go on, on, my nigga. Bye. So you the black, you the black guy down there. Get out of my yard, my nigga. Bye. And hurry up before I get you up out of my yard, nigga. Make sure you get your crazy ass on, nigga. Yeah. Now they can't even dress up like any. I'm trying to figure out why everybody in the back door uh, playing you. And we out here trying to look for this nigga. Ain't nobody seen it. But everybody honoring him. Everybody goddamn dropping down, giving praise to this nigga. Everything. He's talking about the Indian, y'all. 
See, in the background, they tell y'all what they want to tell y'all. They tell y'all who the Indian is, Native American, all that. Them folks don't know. Them folks got done so bad, they don't even know who the fuck they are. That was so embarrassing. Oh, uh, nah, man, them folks, them folks don't know who they are. Ain't did shit, ain't came up with an invention. Nigga ain't ain't got nothing to do with no sports. Oh, uh, nigga, we don't need we don't even know no famous. No, <laughs> ain't none of these niggas even famous. You niggas ain't never did nothing. Dope fiends and alcoholics. Fentanyl and methamphetamine. And uh, you niggas ain't never did nothing. The Irish came here and had a game. The 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 uh, 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 the, the uh, Italians came here and had a a, a, a game. Uh, uh, nigga, even the Mexican mafias had a game. We ain't man, these natives ain't these niggas ain't got shit. Nothing, nigga. Uh, boy, y'all niggas ain't known for nothing. Ain't no famous actors. Y'all ain't known for having bad bitches. I ain't never seen a a, a nigga or uh, lust or uh, over a motherfucking Native American bitch. Flat booty, no hip, Taylor Swift body built that. We ain't nigga. I mean, what the fuck is you niggas ever done? What are you gonna do besides sit there and hold the government nuts? Now they got y'all flying American flags. In y'all motherfucking reservation, nigga, with your Presbyterian churches, and they sending you bitches off the wall now too, putting you right on the front line. Y'all ain't never, you never could fight. Don't bring up fighting, cause nigga, all we gonna say is Buffalo soldiers. Yeah, <laughs> Buffalo soldiers, and they gonna get to running. You never had no hands, just like the Israelites. You niggas, you niggas might, you know what, them Native American niggas, they might do be the Israelites. Cause them niggas can't can't fight to save they motherfucking life. No hands. Y'all was whooping white boy, nigga. Uh, but we chased you hoes all through the mountains. Uh, nigga, yeah, nigga, we rode bicycles. Them hoes ran up the mountain. We nigga got off the horses and made bicycles. Yeah, unk them out there on bikes, nigga, on 10 speed swings, nigga, beach cruisers, and nigga, we finna come get them hoes. Yeah, them bitches couldn't run, couldn't hide. And now they all on the reservation, smoking crack, uh, shooting up, yeah, uh, all this type of shit. We ain't never seen none of you nigga bring no inventions or none, no type of game to the U.S. Let's just keep this shit real. All y'all did was got a narrative and let white folks tell everybody that y'all was the real Americans. Then they disrespected you and told you that you walked over here from another place so how in the hell is you the owner how you feeling like an owner nigga you been walking around this whole nigga chasing livestock in game nigga you ain't never sat down and built the motherfucking thing you can't build nothing today i ain't never had seen a native american yard man i ain't never seen a native american roofing i ain't never seen that nigga modeling no motherfucking house i ain't never seen that nigga known for no masonry Man, we ain't never seen this nigga build a motherfucking car. We ain't nigga, nigga, you ain't known for a motherfucking thing. You a goddamn mutant. You don't even know who you are. You nigga so mixed and matched. Nigga, a created slave race. And the white man been pimping on you niggas ass since pimping, been pimping, been pimping. He couldn't play with niggas like that. Uh, yeah, they had to drop hair on and um, uh, send niggas to Vietnam and Got a nigga coming back crazy than the son, bitch. Oh, uh, yeah, they didn't put powder and crack cocaine and AIDS on the nigga and everything. They ain't have to do nothing. Oh, uh, but give you niggas a motherfucking bottle of a Thunderbird. And you niggas out there laid out on the motherfucking curb. Take that shit back to Asia, nigga. Yeah, you niggas on the motherfucking bottle of Thunderbird. Nigga, we, nigga, our crackheads were still fixing cars, AC units, nigga. So uh, breaking in cars, stealing radio. Yeah, nigga, I was crackheads, nigga, was still making moves and shit, nigga. Nigga, come over there and hook the cable up. We got free lights in this bitch. Oh, uh, Native American, that holding laid there on the curb with a motherfucking Thunderbird bottle, and the nigga can't get up. The nigga then falling and he can't get up. Yeah, sorry, some of bitches. Good for nothing, ass nigga. No dancing, ass niggas. They, they fucked up about the dance, right, TP2 Live? 
So TP, they fucked up about the video you made about the little one basic ass one two little one two knee oh shit. So they fucked up. My my game is nigga. Let's have a dance off. Ain't nobody in the world foolish enough, nigga, to come out here and give us a dance off. You can talk that shit what you want about them West African and shit, but them motherfucker, them West African, them South Africans. Them goddamn islanders. Now, nigga, that's who gone them Caribbean. That's who we, nigga, them the ones we got to worry about. But, nigga, no motherfucking Native American ain't coming out here doing no motherfucking. Nigga, we'll get an African on you, niggas. You hoes wish y'all can move like that. First off, you ain't got enough ass. Yeah, you ain't even motherfucking me built. You understand me? Yeah, your body, yeah, you don't even come with that motherfucking build for your body to move like that. Sit your motherfucking ass down. Oh, they got them bitches out there in Hawaii. Oh, doing the little, the little, that bitch go sit down. You ain't got enough ass. Bitch, that shit was invented for hoes who had ass and were making it clap. Bitch, you don't get out here throwing no hip. Somebody's all in the hip. Bitch, it's all in the ass, ho. Yeah, nigga, that was, nigga, ain't no real nigga finna sit back. In a month, and you know, and let you and drink his shit out of wine out of coconut rum out the coconut and watch a flat booty bitch. Ain't nothing uh cute about a flat booty bitch throwing ass talking about it's in the hips. Only a bitch with no ass to say it's in the hips. Oh uh, yeah, nigga, we nigga naturally uh wired. If we walk down, nigga, naturally, nigga, we ain't even gotta be thinking about it. Something that God put inside of me and gonna make you turn around and see if she got some ass. Nigga, I don't know. We cursed. Nigga, they can yeah, the God, God is a player. Nigga, he cursed us. Yeah, that cause he be watching that ass too. No real nigga finna sit back and watch a flat booty bitch. So you Hawaiian hoes, bitch. We know y'all need to take that shit back to Asia too. Oh, uh, and you Native American one, two stepping assholes. Them bitches out there trying to do the kid and play. Man, go sit y'all funk ass down. Acorn eating ass. We still ain't found out what you hoes eat. Go on, pull the rice bowls and chopsticks out and quit bullshitting. We know you are, you know, you bitches want some rice, a rice bowl so bad. You can't eat it out here in front of everybody, though. Yeah, that bitch, them hoes can't eat that rice bowl with them chopsticks because it's going to give up the game. Yeah, they didn't gave them spoons and forks and shit in boarding school. And, oh, uh, yeah, now these niggas got to come out here and play like they eating it. Bitch, what you, what did you... Got the nerve to eat uh can yams out the can. Talking about this is indigenous food. So why y'all cooking out the can? Motherfucker come out here talking about the three sisters. Yeah, we got squash, beans, and bitch, shut up. That ain't even no meal. That don't even go together. The bitch, that don't even coordinate on the plate. Bitch, we ain't on no keto diet. Yeah, that bitch that came out here with a keto diet uh recipe. Bitch, we ain't on no keto diet, oh. I say let's have a dance off. Y'all talking that gangster shit? Well, let's have a dance off. Let us bring our powwow to y'all powwow. And we gonna embarrass you, ho. Uh, put the gloves on. We gonna box. Uh, go get the rubber balls. We finna hoop. Uh, go get the football. We finna play some tackle football around this hoe, nigga. Uh, what else we doing, nigga? Shot put. Oh, uh, racing. Yeah, nigga, get the track. Nigga, what we doing? Hundreds, 200, 400, 800. Line that shit up. Let's line it up, nigga, and find out who the real Americans are, nigga. Talking about culture. Come on, motherfucker, let's sing. Come on, get your dramas out, nigga. Where your dramas? Where your tambourines at, nigga? Where your trumpet? Line that shit up, nigga. Battle of the bands. That's what we, shy Smiley High School, Houston, Texas. Smiley High School, man. Yeah, nigga, ba let's battle other band this shit out there, nigga. Let's find out who the real American Indian is, nigga. I bet them niggas don't want to do that. Watch what them white folks say. And watch what the odds in Vegas look like, nigga. Let's see what Vegas got to say about them odds, nigga. Line it up. I'm for it. I need all my big hump. You know what? We need to get together. We can settle this shit. We can figure it out. I'm just saying. Who fucking with it? Who fucking with it? Now, nah, y'all want to know who the real Americans is? Nigga, we finna nigga put out a category. Nigga, we need to go to Dallas Cowboys Stadium. 
or one of these motherfucking football fields. They might want us to come out there to Arizona with a car in Vegas. Shit, what they got to uh 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 Vegas then bought a team. Yeah, nigga, let's take it to Vegas. We'll come to the Southwest. It don't matter, nigga. We travel. We coming by horseback. Them niggas gonna be trail riding out to that motherfucker. Nigga, we want Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, Kentucky, Missouri, Ohio, motherfucking uh 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 Minnesota, goddamn me, nigga, uh Maryland, uh Philadelphia, nigga, goddamn Virginia, uh them Carolina, nigga. Y'all don't want to look St. Louis, them niggas already scared. Illinois, they already scared. Come on, nigga, line that shit up, nigga. We finna rock. And uh, our only thing we gonna tell you niggas that ain't from none of those south southern states, we gonna handle the band. Yeah, nigga, I want the, I want Texas, Louisiana, I want motherfucking Mississippi, I want Georgia, nigga. I want them on the on the drum. Yeah, them gonna be the bands. Woo, they can't do it like that. Nigga, if you ain't got no swag program, you ain't coming out to swag. We don't want your band, nigga. Uh, no disrespect, nigga, but we're gonna let them swag them niggas coming out the out, out of uh yeah, out of swag, uh out the swag conference, nigga, cause them bands, they're Jackson State, nigga. Huh? You talking about uh 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 savannah state nigga uh out of georgia nigga we want them bands nigga we want them alabama boy nigga because you ain't beating on them drums like that nigga texas southern university nigga we want goddamn tennessee state university nigga bring them bands out shout out to the midwest shout out to the northeast you and the 13 colony brothers and sisters but we gonna let these down south niggas handle the bands all right, now we might let you nigga race with us. Y'all, y'all some fast ass nigga. Y'all can get in a hundred to two hundred, three hundred. Oh uh, yeah, we want to line this shit up though. Come on, nigga, y'all want to dance? Y'all want to dance, nigga? We gonna show y'all where y'all get that shit from. I say line it up. Oh, uh, Grambling, turn up one time. Oh, uh, Southern University, Southern, and you gonna bring Grambling? We gotta bring Southern. Yeah, they gonna take care of the drums. They gonna take care of the drums. We are we yeah battle other bands. No Native American nigga. Then we gonna cook. Let's fire up the pits. Fire up the pit. Let's get the cooking around this hole. Let's get the cooking, and we gonna let the white folks be the judge. That's what that's what we gonna do. We gonna find out who the real Indian. I need all this. That we finna call for that. We need to talk to some some of these Native American chiefs. We want to pull up on the reds, nigga. Nigga, we got something going on. Yeah, let's line it up and figure it out. We're going to blow these hoes out on everything. Bro, dude, nigga, watch the artists in Vegas. We're going to turn it around. This is going to be a whole nother Olympics for America, fight for America, nigga. What we doing? And we coming in regalia we dressing up in regalia we gonna see who look like the real indians in this bitch when we got on them feathers you coming out there goddamn you can wear your cowboy cowgirl top we gonna see who look like they belong yeah we gonna find out today nigga. yeah yeah we gonna come out there with that paint on we gonna come out there with that paint on in them feathers we gonna see who look like they belong nigga. line it up and I guarantee you they don't want to look at us in none of them categories. Them niggas ain't, I, they, I doubt if they show up. And you, you, uh, uh, European about the U.S., but behind closed doors, they doing this in secrecy. This is what they teaching the white boys and babies. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. At the time of the auto arrow, more than approximately the women to take a deep, whatever the hell, was one of the most numerous fraternal camp societies established in all across the country at local scout camps. During the earliest years of scouting, the fraternal program developed into firecrackers, the tribe, uh, Gimagish, whatever the hell. There they go right there, at the Lloyds in Bedford, Massachusetts. Who is that? You, yeah, 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 you graham cracker. You uh oh uh, oh uh, yeah you scout cookie selling ad nigga you chocolate you chocolate chip and mint cookie selling ad motherfuckers you not time motherfuckers 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you Catholic priest fondled. Oh, uh, yeah, you, let, 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 let walk, man. man. Say, man. Get your boy, man. Say, man. What most brethren miss, even Freemasons in Lebanon and the Freemasons reform the basis of Boy Scout movement. A scout tells the truth, he is honest and he keeps his promises. People can depend on him. A Mason is a true and a trusted brother. His bond is his word and his brother can count on him. A scout is true to his family, friends, scout leader, school and nation. A Mason has the duty to guard his country, his family, his friends, his neighbors and himself. A scout is helpful. A scout cares about other people. He willingly volunteers to others without it's uh expecting payment or reward mason's practice faith hope and change. yeah 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 tifa i didn't went off on the, the blunt that went out and i didn't got down yeah i said you know i'm on to something the ancestors speak it through me ancestors say nigga we want to fight tell them nigga line that shit up ancestors say man say man man look man 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 I'm, I'm we not doing no talking Ancestors say, man, fuck a debate, nigga. I don't want, man, man, tell these nigga come outside. Man, I don't line it up, man. Period. Ancestors say, come man, on, I, don't, man. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to no nigga. Blessed be thou name in the heavenly Father. I heard a philanthropist say, Amen. I heard a philanthropist say, Amen. Experted from page forty-seven through fifty-four, Boy Scout Handbook, eleven edition. Scout lodges. Or differ little from regular lodges except the name. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Tiff, you heard that? That's a bit. Now this right here, he got my little cheap lighter. This my little uh, what Indian Carter? This that Murphy USA lighter right here. Them hoes with two for a dollar fifty. That's that. Mm -hmm. This right here, this that big. And get what? I've been having this hoe over thirty days, and I ain't lost it. A nigga ain't stole it. Yeah, and that bitch that work on the first try. Oh, uh, that Murphy lighter, I didn't I didn't fuck my thumb up. Yeah, Remember, I they have one meeting each year when they attend in scout uniform and they wear Muscat Masonic regalia. And they wear Masonic regalia over the uniform at the festival board of scout lodges and finally come and add the list of toast. Engine guy said, I only use big shit. I go in, I tell hey, give me the cheapest lighter you got. Cause them hoes lighters ain't got that 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 that. Fucking with a nigga, either a nigga want a cigarette or a nigga want a, a lighter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the nigga walk out with your lighter, man. So it's hard to keep a lighter. I go, I tell them hoes, hey, give me the cheapest lighter you got. I'm just trying to strike fire around this hoe. Now, my big, I, like I said, I've been having over 30 days because I've been leaving it at home. That bitch don't go nowhere with me. I take these little two for a dollar Murphy USA Indian quarter lighters. And nigga, yeah, if a nigga still at holding, and nigga, I got another dollar fifty somewhere in the cup holder. Um, the lodges also, I mean, often have beatings where scouters and rovers must be asked to attend presentations. When this happens, the lodge has been called off, uh, has been called off for this purpose. The young men see the leaders they admire in fraternal setting. It is through the first contact with masonry and seeing the principles of masonry an operation that includes many young men to inspire membership in the fraternity shout out golf coast okay yeah. my nigga paul what up though and you see what they doing huh man, man i yeah. gotta go get my chair man my chair ready bro i don't want to leave uh, uh I you, wanna, they uh when you ain't looking and they training them and what they gonna come into masonry man. but we seen the indians go underground through the secret society huh and we walk through goddamn they they secret society and goddamn it's a split image. It's a it's a it's a it's a split image when you put them on side each other. Hold on, man. I uh hold on, let me go back to here. Cause I always talking that five civilized tribe shit, bro. I don't need to be getting on my nerve with that shit. They had some dude named Chief X on side another channel the other day. <sighs> bro, I, bro, you have a hard time. <laughs> You have a hard time, bro. And yeah, this is what I'm telling you. I, I don't know what these nigga, nigga, that nigga is straight Britannical Wikipedia. And I mean, he took that shit full service, boy. You get in there with a real scholar, know his, know what he's doing, bro. Like a nigga like me, you ain't got a chance. Cause 
y'all don't know no Indian history, nigga. So I ain't finna sit there and let you play with me like you do. I'm gonna get after it. And Chief X said his grandma uh told him that she was an Indian when he was little. He grew up and read a book that a motherfucker that uh, a nigga that worked for the CIA wrote and got down now granny a goddamn lie. Now granny need a ass wolf for line. I ain't that some shit. <laughs> say, say boy, you you nigga tough. You some bad ass nigga, boy. Nigga, nigga throw granny away, nigga, for for some for a motherfucking nigga in a suit, a, a mason in a motherfucking suit, playing smart and educated, funded by white money. Now grandma a motherfucking lie. Damn. Boy, y'all niggas need to be taken out back. Yeah, y'all need man. Hold on, I'm gonna drop the link down there. Yeah, these niggas then went and, and read a book a boule nigga wrote that he planned on him in. And now granny's, you know, now the bitch better not say nothing to me. Yeah, yeah, that bitch say God damn boy, y'all nigga ruthless. Y'all nigga ruthless. Say link in the chat, man. Y'all pull up or we can go and get it or, or I can play the video. Boy, I go get my chair, man. I got me a throne, and I ain't gonna lie. They text me like, "Hey, man, you gonna have to come get it right now." I'm like, "Damn, all right, bro. I got it. I'm on the way." This is what I'm gonna do. I wanted to get a panel going because I really wanted to see what y'all was talking about. See, they still down there saying, "Sign them up." I'm trying to see is there some people out there. What's y'all ideas on how we can make this happen? Because look, fuck the TikTok games. We not finna sit around and play with no nigga on TikTok. We through talking about it on here. We don't want to debate. It's not a debate. Let's go get your people them. Get go go to the trials. We know all y'all together. Don't worry about it. My lecture coming up on you niggas. So we know y'all all together. We can go to Oklahoma. What you niggas want to do? Some cowboy shit in Oklahoma. We can find out. We can go to Oklahoma. Nigga, we could go to Navajo. We could go see what the Apache want to do with it. We can go see what the Blackfoot, and I'm bringing all Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi niggas with me, and we could go see what the in Dakota and see what these Blackfoot want to do. We can figure out who the real Blackfoot is real, real quick. We can go see what these drunk ass niggas want to do. Yeah, and we coming up out of yeah, and I want all niggas out of out of North Carolina. I'm bringing Blackfoot Indians out of North Carolina, Blackfoot Indians out of uh, uh Mississippi. Yeah, and we finna go see what they talking about. That's a, yeah, that's the type of shit that I'm on. Go get your niggas because see, with this culture y'all say y'all have, then those customs y'all say y'all practice. Well then, put them on side. Let's let's get in the ring. Let's figure it out. Let's see who the let's let's see who got the skill. Let's see who look like they belong. Let's see who look like they dressing up in costume out here. Let's see who that who got taught this shit in boarding school. Where your singers at? Go 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 get them out here. Cause yeah, nigga, they they tell us Indians love to sing, nigga. Get them out here. Where your dancers? Tell them to suit up. Where your athletes? They say Indians was athletic and they created sports. Uh, go get me your best. We waiting on you. And nigga, and LeBron ain't even got to play today. Go get them. We got some niggas out to chat that are help. Go get your best. I got some niggas out to chat. Smoke weed every day. And nigga, some of these niggas smoke tobacco and goddamn they nigga go put your shoes on. I'll take some niggas out to chat and against your best. LeBron ain't gotta play today, nigga. Damon Lillard ain't gotta run nigga Kyrie or uh, Lil Mountain or uh, Indian shit. And he ain't gotta run point today, nigga. I got a nigga out to chat that's gonna that's gonna yeah, I got a nigga out to chat right now. 270 niggas in here. I got a nigga out the chat gonna hold your best man. Go get him. That's how bad us some motherfuckers we is, nigga. We've been doing this shit since kids. 
ain't not, nigga, we ain't had no coaches. <laughs> we ain't no motherfucking coaches, nigga. We been doing this. What y'all want to flip? Nigga, we ain't never been into a gymnastic motherfucker. We ain't never had no mats or, or none of that type of shit, nigga. Go get your best, nigga, and tell him to come on. We can pull up in any project and say, hey, look, I little homie. Oh, uh, you want you want a hoop? Yeah, go put your shoes on. Go tell your mama you feel. Yeah, go put some shoes on. Y'all damn sure don't want to get down to the to the adolescence. Y'all don't want to go down to Pop Warner. Yeah, nigga, I was eight year old, ten year olds. Y'all ain't even that aggressive at that age. Y'all, y'all don't want no parts that I was ten year olds, nigga. Eight, nine, ten, eleven year old. Y'all don't want nigga. Y'all ain't even ready at that age. Nigga, you still in the oven. That nigga, it's that's like a grown man. Nigga, y'all come on, even mentally. Go get them. Nigga, we'll put them little little, little so uh, uh eight nine ten eleven year olds out there line them up nothing yeah yeah that that right there you, nigga them soft ass kids y'all can go put them nigga to the side automatically now let's go to the teenagers y'all don't come on now man come on nigga y'all frame y'all ain't even start developing in your frame yet nigga and our little youngsters gonna be i mean them niggas overly aggressive they too aggressive. You hear me? Nah, they too aggressive. They are too, that, nigga, that is dom total domination. And then when we get to us, like I said, go get your best, homie. I'm going to go get some niggas out the chat. We ain't even got to go get no niggas that work out every day, no niggas that pay. We ain't got to do that. But you can go get your niggas who work out every day, run mounds, high in the altitudes out. Tell them, come on, I guarantee you my men going to be ready. line it up he said line it up with them suckers will shut the whole shit down we can get it going bro money talks money talks bro i'm telling you bro i listen we can get it going all we need to get two three four tribes everybody ain't gonna probably come on the first one but once niggas see it and start hearing about it man we got enough people we can talk to enough people to get it going we ain't got to make it like it's because we're going to come for this. We ain't going to act like it's on no, you know, take over, no bully, no aggressive energy behind it. Or uh, nigga, we, nigga, we can, or uh, non-profits and, and, and uh, charities, nigga, we send it. We can, yeah, we're going to do it like that. Yeah, proceeds go to non-profits and, and all this type of shit. Proceeds go to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe situations on their side. You know, uh, uh, and, and then it go to you know situations on our side as well. But the whole time, you hear me? The whole time we showing the world what time it is, right, bro? We will break, man. Y'all niggas can't fuck with us. We don't have the same God, homie. <laughs> we don't have the same God. We don't live by the same rules, nigga. <laughs> we not having the same experience around this bitch. You niggas don't know what greatness feel like. We'll show your motherfucking ass, though. We don't want to do Ancestors say we don't want to debate. Put them on their track. Tell them get their ass out there on their track. Because I heard Indians ran track. Yeah, I heard Indians was real, real fast. So, yeah, Granny say, Dog, don't, argue, don't quit arguing with them. For you become the fool. Tell them. To put his shoes on and come race you. He say you're Indian, huh? Tell him come race you. He say you're Indian, huh? Tell him come play a, a game of basketball. Indians always play basketball. Stick ball, baseball, lacrosse. Niggas don't even know how to play soccer. We grew up playing kickball in the ghetto. Yeah, in the ghetto it was called kickball. Um, nigga, no coaching, no nothing, nigga. Go get your best man. I I take some niggas out the chat in the soccer game. We ain't never played, but I guarantee you, once we get out there, it's a wrap for you. We are gonna figure it out. Ain't nobody never taught us how to do this shit. By the time we got an AAU nigga and start hooping, we already had a jump or a crossover can dribble through our legs. We already, nigga, can come up with the left hand. We already knew all of that shit in the ghetto because you got to play hard. 
Yeah, and you playing against big niggas and grown niggas and and they nigga aggressive. This nigga might be on drugs or so, anything. And then you might be the littlest one out there. So you gonna find your way how to maneuver around these giants and king. So you put us out there with niggas in our age, bro. Especially these, come on, bro. Your genetics ain't even, your God ain't even give you the genetics, nigga, to stand in front of something like me. Nigga, I am God-like to you. And if y'all don't think so, let's line it up. Let's line it up. Man, I'm finna get up out of here, man. Oh. But y'all think about this. Shout out to the homie Edge, man. Y'all think about this. And let's figure out a way that we can get it done. Because I think it can happen. I think we can get with some of these people. These tribes ain't got too much going on, bro. I think we could trick these niggas into coming out here and really getting out there <laughs> and thinking it's a fun day at the park. You hear me? I think we could trick these niggas into having a fun day at the park, nigga, and these niggas, cause they ain't got nothing going on. Government ain't fucking with all of these niggas. Man, money talk. There's some sponsorship and all that out there, man. We're gonna make it a real big deal. And then we're gonna fuck over them. <laughs> When we dominate them, you know, we're going to shake hands all love. You know, proceeds go to y'all causes and everything because it ain't about the money or none of that. But nigga, big mama say, nigga, don't talk to them. Don't do that. Don't argue with no nigga. You're going to become the fool. What you do is tell him to put his shoes on. Yeah, y'all just race around the track and come back and see who come in first. Go get your horses, nigga. Because y'all, they say y'all were cold on, on horseback. Go get your horses, nigga. Hey, look at it. Yeah, tell them, come on. Hey, look at it. And then it's some young nigga. We go get 12, 13 year old nigga. Say, look at it. Tell little James come down here right quick. Bring them horses down here. I think they want to race. Yeah, let's finesse them. Trick them, get them out there. Get a bag around it. We need a lot of big content creators, bro. We finna get some shit started. We can walk in Texas Southern. We can walk in Prairie View University, nigga. We can walk in Wiley College, nigga. We can walk in Southern. We can walk in Grambling. We can walk in Jackson State. We can walk in... Come on, man. Y'all want to beat on some drums? Y'all go get your band. You ain't never seen no band like this here, homeboy. You ain't never seen nothing like this. And when the women get to moving, you ain't never seen nobody move like that, nigga. I'm talking about like the wind. I'm talking about like the motherfucking wind. And y'all want to say they breaking China in this bitch. Go put your China up, nigga. Put some cheap shit out there because, nigga, they breaking China glasses in this bitch. The best of the best. Only the best. That's my motherfucking time. Man, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. BCU. I said, I knew that we were jumping in night. Just the five of you. I told her, like, you that bitch. I do it. All I will cry with you. I'm not. Long if you're joking, now it's a me. I ain't got it. I'm making it do it. I'm your body. As long as you dream about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. For the truth, I look better under you. I can't know. Hey. How can I do it to it, Mariana? Yeah, you dig with mine, I'm not, like, I'm your day one. We had to yell, it was magic, yeah. Smashing grass, yeah. Let go. Uh huh. 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 Oh, 
nobody, nobody like you do. You just too, yeah. Nobody, nobody like you do. Yeah, yeah. The main one. Why you? And I'm the main one. Do what she told me. Yo, 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 y